Hello, delicious friends, and welcome to Vampire the Masquerade 5th Edition, Blood Lost, a campaign about being trapped in a city that doesn't want them there. But they can't escape, so they're finding their way out very slowly and via political machinations of the other more powerful vampires. So, please join me and my thumb thin bloods as we take you through the city. Uh, so... A bit Dylan. Tell us tell us a little bit about Marco to get us started. Hello, my name is Marco Kravitz. I am a foreigner from Ukraine and I have been in the city for a little bit. I have a sister who thinks that I am dead, that I watch over from the shadows, and I was turned after uh, falling into the wrong party with some random stranger who came into one of my stores. So now I find this ragtag group of people, I get into a lot of crazy shit, and now I find myself here and I am trying to survive while I be hunted because I'm a thin blood. So what's new in my life? Um, my name's Abe Dillon, stream a wide variety of games, I like to make a fool out of myself as per usual on Twitch. And um, yeah, let's send it over to my babe. Delfron! I don't know which way he's at. He's but. bottom Yo. right of your camera. Um, name's Delfron. Um, I play Nate Rourke, no. who is a dastardly evil, but pretty adorable gay cosplayer, murderous vampire. And uh, yeah, our, our goal is just to suck on as many vampires as we can while still being innocent in our lives. You can find me everywhere as Delfron. I will pop it over to Daddy Sheepdo. Hey guys, I'm Sheepdog. I play John Hook. He was working for the uh, Anox uh, until he met these guys. He came and he's now helping them and he's the butler of the group, apparently, who makes the tea. Uh, <laughs> let's jump over to, I hope I got this right, Fuzzy over here. Hello. Um, no, wait, that way. Hello. Uh, <laughs> I don't look. It's complete. Everything's mirrored. Okay. Um, <clears throat> hello. I'm Fuzzy. I play Florence. Florence is very old and very smelly, and she's apparently hypnotized John into thinking that these the teas made, and she's all right with that. It was an accident, anyway. I'm sure he'll forgive her if he ever figures it out. Uh, no, oh, you're gonna get murdered. Um, but but yeah, uh, 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 but yeah, I'm fuzzy, and I've I've been super cracked out on on um, uh, Seven Days to Die at the moment because Alpha 17's out. Well, wow. it's out for content creators, and it'll be out for everybody else hopefully in a few hours soon. Hashtag soon, uh, and 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 I've just it's really hard but really good, and it's got gyrocopters and cars in it now, and and gyrocopters. It's got a fucking gyrocopter in it. Yeah. We spawned one in. It's fucking amazing. <laughs> it, it's it's like I've got a helicopter cat, well, a gyrocopter. So it's 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 a bit janky, but everything in that game is janky, and is like in a good way. It's a motherfucking game changer. It's just like the the meta of the game has completely changed now. That's cool. I do yeah, that. yeah, it's good. Thank you for introducing me to it. <laughs> Come um... play. Anyway, yes. Um, that's it. It's, it's me. Yay, Hi. it's you! Right. If you're here on Twitch, follow. If you're on YouTube, on Strange Adventures, subscribe. Uh, or you can subscribe on Twitch, which gets you access to the list, which um, is a list of vampires. You can join a vampire clan, and I will... I, I was going to try and integrate it into the campaign, and the ideas that I've had, I've realised might take some work and I'm very lazy so I apologize for that I might just create discord groups for people to go into their clan but I think there's only like two people per clan at the moment so I mean you could do politics with two people that's fine um so last episode John Hook ended up being the tease maid. Uh, Nate discovered something unfortunate has happened to his 
friend Renala. Marco uh, spent his time getting the the thin bloods from Angelica and has kind of taken them under his, his wing. He seems to be a bit of a leader now, which is kind of cool. And Florence did Florence stuff. Animals. And animals. Florence did not do any animals, thank you very much. That's disgusting. Florence castrated someone. Florence did castrate oh, someone. That's true. I they, did. they all went hunting. It was way more successful than I thought. I was going to set them on fire, but then they killed the person. So, you know, it's fine. That's actually fine. It went well. Yeah. They Florence some Darwin, stuff. someone. Oh, yeah, yeah. They definitely found some stuff out about the uh, Second Inquisition. So, um, I think it should be a, a new night for this evening. A lot happened last time. So if you all make me rouse checks to see if you get hungrier just by waking up. Nate, you good? Uh, Marco, no. Florence, no. John, you good? And you all arrived relatively safely back at the cottage, yeah? I think. So uh, we add a little bit of a talking about the wrestling at the end with the new Thin Bloods. Yes, because the Thin Bloods are part of your plan to blow up the prince. <laughs> uh, so I'm, I'm cool with that. Everyone, I think, should have full willpower again. Has anyone taken damage? And what kind, if so? Uh, I have one superficial still. Uh, you can heal that. <laughs> um, Florence feels better. Oh yes, nothing, nothing that a cup of tea won't sort out. It's true. Power back. Life giving properties. Hmm. Uh, anyone else hurt? Does that... Didn't get touched. Really? Mm -hmm. I was certain I I tried to kick the crap out of you, John. Okay, never mind. Well, um, try. Uh, I, I had I got the I got the drop on them and then ripped his throat out. So. Yeah, that's true. You really you ace them. Yeah. So we've done the XP spend. We've done the health and willpower. So at this point, um, you are all in the cottage. Everyone seems relatively safe. One of the new thin bloods comes up to you. It's, it's Leslie. Uh, she seems a bit timid. She goes up to Marco. Now, Leslie is the one who didn't fully understand their vampirism. So you are muted. I'm going to be sitting there, like, rubbing my head as I'm probably listening to Florence and John go on about tea. And I'm just going to be like... Oh. The best way to... Yeah, it's like we're having the, the, the milk in sort of like before or after the hot water debate and it's getting heated. <laughs> Florence is going to rip his head off. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um... Um, and Leslie says, uh, Marco, am I allowed to go? Of course. <laughs> what do you think this is? You are in jail? No, you are free to go. Oh. Oh, thank God. Oh, good. Thanks. But you do understand what's going to happen if you leave, right? You have to be prepared to defend yourself. What do you mean? Do you not know the world out there? You do you not know what you are? I, they told me I was a vampire. I'm yes. Do you know what that means to be a vampire? To be a kindred, a thin blood. I have bigger teeth now. I, I get hungry in a weird way. It's have you scary, never feasted Marco, upon but... a person yet? What? Have you never feasted upon a person yet? No. 
You don't need to. It's all right. There's perfectly good rats and pigeons. If that is something that you are into eating, then go for it. But I can tell you right now that it is way better to feast upon someone who is living than a creature that you found off the ground. Humans are creatures too. Yes, with a lot more going on for them than the rats. Exactly, which is why I stick to rats. I don't want to inconvenience some poor bastard just walking down the road and suddenly, whoop, oh no, somebody's sucking on me neck. They don't die, it's fine. No, they will not die. I just glance at Nate for a second. (laughs) Okay, so I um, I grab Leslie, but not in like an aggressive way. But maybe I start startle her. Probably. Uh, uh, So I grab her and I like lean her over as if I'm like it's like a salsa dance. (laughs) I get really close to her neck and I'm like, no, this is how you bite. Just one quick. And I like pretend that I'm about to bite her, but always make sure that you lick the wound after you bite. It's dreadfully unhygienic, you know. Oh. Then I bring her back up. Um, Marco, you have to roll me uh, <laughs> four dice. Four? Okay. Four dice. Okay, that's two successes it's plain to see that Leslie while um, unsure of herself definitely lied to you when she said she'd not (laughs) fed on a person but now it's all kind of clicking into place alright wait for her or for me For, for her oh okay okay um, that is how you do it, but always make sure that you lick the wound. Otherwise, mortals may be able to discover exactly how the person died, if or not died, what may have happened to them. Okay. And thank you. Be wary. Be wary of where you feed. I learned that the hard way. Where Where should I feed? Out in the um, woods. No, do not do the woods. There are very scary locked. beasts. <laughs> Basically, do not tread into a club and decide to kill some. I, I'm assuming that's what he's learned, right? Don't kill people in clubs. Because it's been kind of like loose, like where we're hunting. It's just kind of like, yeah, I'm going to go feed. And then you just kind of tell. So I don't know if it's like, is there a definitive area that we're always feeding in? Uh, or like- you. So you fed in, let's bring up the map super quick. You fed in, like, the fancy district in the center of town. You fed in the kind of not very fancy at all uh, run-down council estate areas. Um, The the fancy district bars normally owned by a vampire or another. Um, And where else have you been? Um, Yeah, yeah. Basically those two places you've been to. So, seems to be safer at the the council estate place. Okay, and then I'm gonna give a few more rules and be like, also do not feed your blood to another mortal. That's a big no-no. Do not kill a mortal unless you must in self-defense. For pencil and pen, (laughs) or to keep the secret. I'm looking. Yeah, and keep. Your kindredness a secret at all costs. As you can tell, we are being hunted out in the wild and you cannot trust anyone, not even the ones in this room. So be choosy with your words. And I like saying that just to scare her. Like I'm, she can't trust probably a bulk of the people in this room, but mm. <laughs> I gotta keep her on her toes. Okay. Um, take, she takes notes. Okay. Cool. Go take notes. <laughs> and then I grab those notes and I crumple them up. And I'm like, do you want someone to find these? Keep them in here, not oh, on of, here. Of course, of course. Uh well, I'm I'm off then if I'm allowed to. Um Yes. Oh, why did we teach her that if she's just gonna die? I mean, make sure that you come back here at night. I mean or during sorry. Make sure you come back here at, before daytime. 
Well, yeah, but the 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 tower's just gonna kill her as soon as she leaves. Mm, do they know where she is? Motorcycle gang, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh bugger, they're here. <clears throat> well. You have to be careful. If you think that you're being hunted, you must come back immediately. But I am not here well, to. Well, sure, they're just being hunted. We don't want her to come back here. Yeah, no, that. Yeah, I prefer not. I also to don't want to keep them kept up here. They are free to go if they want, but well, yeah, I cannot guarantee their survival. Yeah, you should tell them that they're going to get killed like pretty much instantly as soon as they leave. Yeah. I'm like, she's like fully listening to this. I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah. 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 Looking between you as you argue. Uh, she gets more and more concerned. All right, dear, dear, where were you going to go anyway? I was gonna go see some friends. <laughs> Absolutely uh, are these not. Friends from your mortal life. It's, they're just friends. Right. Uh, do they know? I might have. I didn't know what was going on. I, I put both my hands, like, I grab her hands, I grab my hands. Your friends are going to die. Why? Yeah, I'll, do, I'll do it. No, no, no. No, no, no. no, no that's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. Oh. If you go to visit your friends, they're going to die. You're putting them in great danger. He does actually have a point. The Inquisition. But Nate's friends have, like, a lot of Nate's friends have been murdered because he told them. And do we know about our loved ones yet, or no? Uh, you haven't looked for them. Okay, because I didn't know, because I know you like you had, gave us a cliffhanger at the end, but I didn't know if that was in story or if that was just like for um, the audience. Oh yeah, I, I out that, the... that was kind of out of... Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. If you care about somebody, don't, don't visit oh, them, don't see anything. them. You just, just don't go anywhere near them. It's the only you way to You have to do like I did. I am dead. I'm literally... There is a grave with my name on it that people believe is me. I cannot let my sister know that I am alive. Otherwise, I will risk her safety. Got a grave? Yes. That's really posh. Is it a nice one? Did it do Ab good, good Absolutely stuff? not. She no? believes I died in a car accident. All right, but no. I'm just, is the gravestone nice? Is it tasteful? Um, I actually took a piss on it once. <laughs> of course he did. It was a wild night. <laughs> Wait, question. Doesn't Nate have to go and check on his friend or whoever the fuck that was that I sniffed the corner for? <laughs> sniffed you the did corner what? For. <laughs> um, yeah, we, 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 we'll decide that later, I think, will we? You can, you can decide it now if you want. It's I would you, imagine mate. you'd be fucking chomping at the bit to go, but if you don't care about your mate, well... <laughs> wait, 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 I'm gonna chime in, because this is probably, like, I may have caught wind of this here and there, but, like, so I'm like, wait, Nate, you know where your friend is? She's not really a friend, she's kind of a partner. She was at Ooh, the last party. you're a fickle bugger, aren't you? Wait, wait, what did you say? She was at the last party, she was at Elysium. But do you know where she is now? No. One of my babies came back with a piece of fabric with some, well, blood on it, so... And the Inquisition is involved in this. But how are we going to find her? I'm just curious. Can like, he do you have a con sniff like a, a dog? Does he not do his thing? I mean, I, I smoked the corner and then I... I kind of, I could maybe give it a go, but I'm not promising anything. Well, we what do if you bring him to the apartment, and he oh. sniffs the apartment. Well, we've got this. I, I, I'm going to pull out the fabric with the blood on it and be like, "You could sniff this, right?" Well, uh, no, I already sniffed that. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. The so I sniffing know, thing uh, isn't really a tracking ability. It's the ability no. to <laughs> sense the emotions from blood. But I rolled quite well, and I think we could just go to a, you know. We could just go to a humane society, go grab a blood, bloodhound. Is that really your idea? Is that really what you're going to do? Oh, I would like a puppy. Well, no. there was there was blood and fear and panic and shit on there. And if if this is Nate's partner or whatever, I assume he at least wants to go. And seeing as he's less yeah. impressive, I think at least I should probably go to uh, make sure he doesn't die. 
or excuse me, know? who downed a guy in the last battle? I mean, this guy right here, this guy, does a guy, yeah, down. Who has yeah, this? Like, you almost shot me as well. Yeah, well, who also got me? All right. Okay, someone's ego is very much big right now. Yeah, he, he grabbed a gun off someone who fell over and shot him in the head. It was uh, a Knocked feat of heroism. Over. Knock, do not rewrite history. Knock, sure. over. Uh-huh. All right, all right, all right. I have idea. So let's let me run this by you. So Angelica warns me that Tarsh might get annoyed that we are on his land. So... We eat him? I, I, no, no, no. I have offered... We go over to Taj's place and see if we can maybe pick his Beat brain him. to see if he can guide us in the right direction at the price of we will get off your land and never come back. Angelica says that she has a place possibly for us. But is isn't there. that where oh, wait, didn't she? you know okay. who is I could swear I could swear you said that. And she's like, I don't want you in that cottage. Like that cottage it can't be safe anymore. I don't think so. I don't it was the first meeting. That. I don't I, think she said we had a full conversation about this. I, I I remember saying that Angelica was, yeah, concerned that if you piss off Taj, he'll kick yeah. you out. But for the moment, yeah. you're okay. But then I remember her saying that if we get closer. And it, like that was like one of my things that I had asked her. I was like, "Well, do you have a you place for us do to this stay?" A lot where you exist in this alternate universe. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, go back on, go back on YouTube. Everyone no, that's watching this on YouTube, I swear we had a conversation did, about this. You did, you did ask her, and she was like, "Eh," and you were like, "Well, I don't want to push it because she was getting a bit scary." Um, okay, but she she never actually offered anywhere to stay. She was kind of like, "Well, maybe, possibly, sometime in the future." Yeah, it drink was. My blood, drink my blood, hint, hint. If, if, yeah. yeah. If it was, it was definitely like that. If I did tell you uh, she had a place for you, then I was wrong, sorry. No, I don't think he said like a definitive place, but it was definitely like heavily hinted at that it was like- I think think it was hinting. uh, Yeah. What you may have interpreted as that is that she has a place for you. In her organization. Uh... As in not a physical location, but a position for you okay that might be what i said okay then i retcon everything i just said <laughs> that wouldn't make any sense <laughs> probably multiple i mean positions. you could you could still technically go to taj i don't, I don't think to to taj. yeah i know we'd have to have some reason for florence for wanting to go florence would not want to go there oh actually while we're talking about all this florence yes do me a favor and like, because I know you, you use your rats to communicate, right? Mm-hmm. Could you send one off to uh, Mika or um, oh, the ugly one? What's that one called? Corwy. Corwy, yes. Yeah, yeah. Love the just, girl. Just, just, just a quick message asking about uh, Saffron. Just say, how is Saffron? Well, you write it out, dear, and I'll, I'll prepare the rat. No, no, no. It's, it's better, like, because... No, no, go on, you write might... it out. No, no, it's all right, because if she could, might could, not be able to John, read me. Yeah. Could, could you write? Sure, yeah, I'll write all the time. It's wonderful. Mm. All right, go on, then. All the squiggles and lines and shit. You can't write, can you? Yeah, sure I can. <laughs> go on, then, do it. No, I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> Look, there's nothing to be ashamed of. I can't punch people through a wall, and you can. All right, fine. No, I can't write. I can't read. Whatever. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Okay. Right. I'll, I'll write it out for you. Okay. Would you like to Thank dictate you. it then? Yeah. Okay. How is saffron? How is dear? Oh, no, no. Did you can't start. A, you can't start a letter with how is saffron? It's, dear Mika, how are you? I hope the weather continues fine. <laughs> It's how like, is saffron? Uh, John would like to inquire how saffron is. He seems quite vehement about it. Yeah. Mm. Has she come back yet? He would like to know if she has returned yet. <laughs> Nathan over yeah. the corner just went out straight not to laugh as hard. It's just like... It's a little school kind of moment. And anything else? No, that's good. Okay. You're sincerely... Uh, Florence, uh, sort of writing on behalf of 
John. What was your surname, John? Hook. Hook Esquire. Squiggly signature. Right. Fold it up small. Okay. Precious, mm. come here. Come here. Who's a good boy? Are you a good boy? Here you go. Here's a little good treat for you. Right, okay. Now, Precious, I want you to go find Mika again, okay? You remember Mika, yes? There you go. Off you go. Shoo. Good, good, good boy. Yes. Scampers off. All right. Well, while I'm waiting for that, depending, I don't know, I don't have a fucking clue what Nate wants to do about this whole friend, partner, person situation, but... Do you, do you want to go and check on them and see if they're dead? I would be. Got a lead though. It would be hideously dangerous, but a good idea. And if we go to that apartment, there's a good chance we're gonna be seen. Yeah. Well, well we don't. I mean, we don't have to go if you don't. If you if you don't want me, I just. I could probably go quietly. Yeah, I think the best bet is. If Florence goes herself. Well, by herself? If we wait nearby and Florence goes inside, because she's the only one that can hide. Mm-hmm. If you when like. I met up with my other friend, they f- followed me so easily and so quickly. Well, why don't, why don't you two do that then? Because you don't need me for the sneaky, do you? No, but it would be nice to have you in case we need the punchy. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah, but I also know that Marco's got a job he's got to do, and I'm pretty sure he needs me for that. Well, the job that I have to do is very important, but I mean, if we can wrap this up in one day, we should still have time to do my job. All right, well, let's go now, then. Come All on, right. chop, yeah. chop. Do we should we take any of, the, any of the newbies? Oh, I don't know. Are any of you good at sneaking? Or fighting? I look at them. I'm a dancer. And then I'm a history PhD. Have you ever ripped someone's heart out of their chest? Have you? Have yeah. you ever passed unseen for a crowd of people? Have you? <laughs> I can show you if you want. No, no. Um, I don't think let it's going to be that helpful to you. Let us leave the training to outside of real life combat. Right. We don't want them getting their heads chopped off before the party. Mm, that's true. After well, the party, do, though. Yeah, you should do a bit of, like, you know, wrestling training, though. Yeah. You know, practice a bit of grappling and make it, you know, falling over with making it look good and all that. Learn how to take a punch. I look over at Alex. He's there, right? Alex, yes, I... Alex is there. He's uh, straightening out some, some of the clothes that he's clearly stole from John's... <laughs> um, Delivery of clothes. Alex, I know it is still not safe for you to walk around out and about yet. You're still not feeling up to par, correct? I'm a little shaky, but I was thinking tonight I could go and maybe find... Well, I don't know if anything's changed, but there might be a um, street dock I can I can go to. Everything, everything will be fixed up. I hope. So, Ooh. if if they're still there, then yeah, yeah. Um, Wait, I was gonna go straight there. If he's leaving, like, question then, does he work for the tower? Me. Yeah. Who's the tower? You know the the high and mighty Hoshintosh. What are they called? Oh, no, I. Um, don't really work for anyone anymore. I guess like M- Marco. No. <laughs> don't give him that credit. I look at him oh, like no. he's a fucking idiot. I'm like, no, no, no. Let me get this right. Nobody works for me. You are free to do your own thing. We are okay. united to try to survive this weird incursion that is coming upon the Sin Bloods. Well, I'm helping because me crossed. Me and me, you yeah. don't need to cut the dock. I can sort you out here. Oh. You a medic? I mean... I can what? have some. some if we do it now... Are you trying... He's very good at certain sorts of anatomy. 
<laughs> I think I look at Florence and I like needle like wink and like yeah. Florence is giving just lean his I look oh. over at uh, Nate. Has he fed you any blood? Uh, have you fed him any of your blood, Nate? Sorry? Have you fed him any of your blood, Nate? No, but I got him some. Why? Oh, I did not know if that was what you were hinting at. I don't want you going around blood bonding people willy nilly. <laughs> Please, I don't need that responsibility. <laughs> exactly why I asked. <laughs> Um, okay, Alex, you say that you don't have any allegiances, and I've seen you in a fight. You're very good. Maybe you can come out with us sometime in the future. To help us out. Or any time, if you want. Yeah. Me. Maybe you don't get shot so much next time. Preferably. Hopefully there won't be a fucking SWAT team next time. Hey, we, we, we are both... We team and we were fine. We are both mad at Mr. Brass for what he did. He left us hanging out to dry. I think I've been thinking about that. I don't I don't think he left us out to dry. Rumor has it he's still alive, Alex. Really? Yes, and that he has left us. He apparently left the building before we before the Inquisition ever arrived. Which means he either knew or he got warning and just decided to go. Well, they they attacked during the day, right? He, he doesn't. Correct. He didn't stay at the scrapyard during the day. <laughs> he had his own little place. He does. I didn't know that. But interesting that he would keep people that he thinks so close in a place that is so dangerous during the day. And where is this place? I'm not exactly forgiving him for what he did. I agree. His Me place, neither. No clue. It is definitely something that I want to have a conversation with him with. And I would love for you to join me during that conversation. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But that'll be not today. We have to help out Nate right now. All right, um, I'll get fixed up. You go fuck around or whatever. Catch you later. Hasta luego. Wait, that's something Dylan would say. Never mind. <laughs> 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 See you later. <laughs> das Vidania. Yeah. Das Vidania. Can I um do anything for him? With my occult? Do I know any like could I like give my like information that might help him heal better or anything? What you uh with your occult? Yeah, like would I know anything that's like like home remedy wise for like um kindred to like heal a little bit better? Um, that maybe a red somewhere or something. From your understanding, blood. Blood is how you get healed, right? Because everyone heals themselves. It's just a natural yeah. process for kindred. Doesn't yeah. seem to be working for him though. Um, okay. Okay. Never mind then. And we should uh we should go too, right? Every Don't second you... count kind of thing? No? Sorry, I got. I, I was under the impression that you cared about this person. I mean, I do, but I just want to rush into it. And didn't you have to like get some more, you know, before we go? And I gesture heavily at Florence. What? Did you want to be prepared for? Oh, I'm. I'm fine for now. Like, yeah, I can. I can still activate my claws and everything. Next couple of days. Should be all right. Um, okay. Oh, wait, how long has it been since I last had the uh, since I drank from Florence? Um, was that effective? Because if not, I need to go find my <laughs> blood. It's been like four days, if I remember correctly. Yeah. So yeah, couple more days. I and, should be fine. Five days, I think, ish for you. Um. I mean, unless you're a volunteering. What, him or me? Him. I like I like mine to stay in me. Really? I like to take others. But, uh, yeah. Oh, so you're at bottom. I make a very deadpan, terrible Wait. joke. Like, I don't, I don't <laughs> Expecting understand. Nate to laugh, Nate doesn't laugh. Like, <laughs> yeah. Florence is not like, I don't, I don't understand. Never mind Florence. Why is he a 
what, what? I don't. He is Potter because he has foundation of building. That is what I mean. He has stuff like Smash cut two. Yeah. <laughs> foundation <laughs> bottom of a building. Um. <laughs> Yeah, I'm assuming you're all going to this. Yes. Cool. Um, and unless there's anything else you need to do beforehand, uh, we can all arrive there. Um, Nate, yeah. you know where Renella lives. She lives in one of the slightly swankier places. Um, yeah. And in this context, it's a really lovely Victorian. Used to be a um, used to be a factory, but it's been converted into apartments because, of course, it has. Um, but it's really, really nice. It's got the red brick. It's got the the big arched windows. Um, so would I have a minus roll here, or would I have no, a minus roll? No, I think this place is you, probably your aesthetic. Okay. Okay. Cool. So I like. I, I'm guessing that we like took an Uber there, right? You can if you want. Yeah, I'm gonna say an Uber, <laughs> and like I, because I know the area. I think Nate will, like stop it like a few like blocks and like just tell florence like what to do and like we'll go a different way so the the we'll tell the uber to go if that makes sense to keep going but we'll get off go a different rally way and then you go this drop way. the bag lady off and go yeah so florence once you're out just do your thing just go in like here's written like this is as best as i could do from what i can remember of her place, I, I don't know. Like last time, I was pretty drunk. I no, it's it, it, yeah, I know. It's definitely up these stairs, just here. Right. Okay. There we go. Right. Okay. Yeah, you have like Fine. the apartment number and stuff. Okay. Right. All right then. Um. So yeah, I'm just gonna get out of the car and just kind of like find an alley and just kind of like amble down it and and obfuscate where nobody can see me and then uh okay and uh, wait wait wait, wait. just uh, just a sec as well what? And, like, i just take out like an aftershave and i just do a little bit of spritz Why? <laughs> 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 they have a certain it's, you trust me it's fine and then we just like yeah oh that's vile i smell like a horse boudoir now good gracious <laughs> wow Ooh. right okay there's Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's a rouse check from you, Florence. Right, okay. Uh, um, uh, 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 woo, yeah. Good. All right. You disappear. No one here. You walk past a couple of people. Kaiser Suze. Um, I mean, this I'm is, all... I, I was just going to say, this is a relatively busy place, so just to, like... I'm assuming you're sneaking. Yes, and um, what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to get one of my I'm going to get my other retainer that I haven't sent off to, to uh, um, Thingy. I'm going to send it to basically kind of scout ahead and just sort of uh, just you know just basically scout ahead and warn me you know sort of like if of any you know problems or scary people or whatever. Okay. Uh. Your retainer comes back, um, and it do it doesn't give you any signals in particular. It's like it just like nuzzles back at you, and all right. Well, you just you just go on ahead and just check around the corners as I go. All right. Okay, and then it scurries off. Yeah, it's it's just basically it's taking point. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the rash is like. <laughs> 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 Whatever the fuck the hand signals are. I don't know. Anyway, yeah. Um, so yeah, and Florence is just like din 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 din. <gasps> Deck stealth. Come on, baby. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Um, how describe how you get to her door without uh, any real problems? Yeah, so I, I'm just sort of like, so if people go past, I'm just like flattening myself against walls, and you know, the, the you know, maybe if somebody, yeah, some you know, somebody sort of heads straight for me, the rat kind of scurries along in front of them, and they're like, ah, and uh, you know, dodge around them, and you know, it's. Like, oh my god, it's around the building, and then the rat's gone. They're like, where, where did the rat go? Yeah, definitely. Uh, you get oh. 
to the apartment door. It's pretty nice. Mm. Doesn't I'm... seem unusual in any way. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna sort of like uh, just very carefully turn the handle and see if it's open. It is not open. Bugger. Uh, okay, I'm going to sort of check around the door above the lintel, see if there's a, maybe they've left a spare key or anything under the doormats. Uh, make me a wits larceny roll. Huh, okay, right. <laughs> a couple of points in larceny. Um... Two successes. Yeah. Yeah, you find there's like one of those fake uh, aloe vera plants and just behind the actual plant underneath a couple of pieces of stone there's actually a spare key to this <laughs> apartment. So I'm going to be, I'm going to sort of just be like, oh lovely and I'm going to sort of very carefully open you know, unlock it as quietly as I possibly fucking can and just sort of send the rat in first What's your first level of um, obfuscate? Is that Silence of Death? Uh, no, it's the one where you stand still and... Uh, okay, this is not going to be easy then. This is, again, deck stealth. Okay, right. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, shit! Would you like to re-roll? Yes, I would. Um, right. How many can I re-roll? Um, you have three. In exchange for a point of willpower. Yep, I'm going to re-roll three. So let's just roll 3d10, yeah? Mm-hmm. That's... That's two successes. Well, that's as good as it gets. Okay. I'm going to offer you a success at a cost. Mm-hmm. And I think, I'm not quite sure what the cost will be, to be honest, but you open it and it clicks. It does the latch clicking as it slides out of the the catch. Mm. Like and I'm you hear someone in there. Oh, bugger. A man. And you hear him rustling around. He seems to be coming closer. I'm going to sort of flatten myself. So, so on the outside of the wall, I'm going to flatten myself against the wall um, and just remain very, very silent and still and obfuscated and sort of slide my uh, knife out of my sleeve. Okay. Um, so... Yeah, after a couple of seconds, the guy comes, arrives at the door. You can hear him, like, pulling the door the rest of the way open, and you see him poke his head out. It's a older man, white guy, grey beard, grey hair, wrinkled, um, quite stocky, and he just looks around. Does he look like a kindred, or...? He looks like a person. He's not, like, pale. Mm. Um, so he's not obviously a kindred or anything. Can I sense not... his... Or whatever the... Do you have an ability to sense that? No, you... not really. I don't think you do. No. You don't... Do you, do you have animalism? Uh, no. Are you sure? I'm fairly certain... Oh, no, I get sorry. Good. Oh, no, sorry. I do have a point in animalism. I uh, so do you have Bond Famulus or do you have Sense the Beast? I don't recall which one's which. Uh, so Sense the Beast is the first level for telling if someone's supernatural, basically, and whether they hate what? you. Uh, what was the other Bond one? Bond Famulus gives you bonuses to pets. Uh, I think I had the second one, yeah. <laughs> the Bond Famulus one, because pet bonus is good. Okay. Yeah. Uh, in that case, you should definitely check that out because I think it would give your retainers retainers some cool stuff. Anyway, um, you can't tell. 
not obviously kindred uh, mm. or any other supernatural stuff that does he does he look sort of like casually dressed or is he very more casually just dressed literally just whoops literally just a uh a jeans and a uh t-shirt mm. kind of dress um and he he leans out looks both ways he looks over you mm. but doesn't see you obviously and he just says gregor okay and then he goes back in you gonna shadow him or something um yeah I'll, I'll i'll sort of like quietly if he's gonna leave the door open um you see him he's obviously going to close the door when he goes back in hmm uh hmm in that case i'm gonna sort of send my rat into scurry between his feet as he's trying to shut the door to distract him okay uh, da -da -da -ba -ba -da. what would that be uh, are you trying to get it to sneak in or are you going to try and no, get obvious it? distraction so you know if he's going to shut the door the rat's going to come and he's going to be like oh shit fuck okay. and you know yeah and then uh, I can sneak in while okay. he's distracted uh, yeah that's exactly what happens he, he like you can hear him stamping around like the fuck and, and like squeaking it'll probably and like, like dive under the sofa or something and do the rat thing where it's just like and I've disappeared now you'll never find me again I'm <laughs> somewhere fuck you gosh yeah. it's so frisky yeah he, he's right. like running around stamping around like you, you see him or hear him open various other doors but while he's distracted the uh, front door just slowly swings closed so I'm just gonna sort of like I'm just gonna gently poke it open and slip in. Yes, yeah, you're, you're straight in there, um, mm. and it looks a mess in here. That's the mm. first thing, a apart from this dude who's clearly not Renala, mm. um, is just kind of stomping around. Uh, he gets a broom and he looks underneath the sofa and he's waving it around under there. Uh, you don't hear any squeaks though, so <laughs> you don't know what's gone on with your retainer. Mm. It's probably fine though. Rats are, you know, good at that shit. Yeah. <clears throat> so uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna sort of like. So is he like turning the place over then? Uh, yeah, he he looks like he's either gone through all the stuff. There's uh, a laptop laid out um, on between two sofas on a kind of coffee table um, and a um, and like a couple of what look like journal style books. Um, hmm. next to that and he's clearly got a couple of them open reading through them and looking through what looks like a social media account hmm. right so what I'm probably going to do then is I've clocked all this stuff I'm going to wait until he is distracted until he goes into another room and then I'm going to pick all this stuff up and just try and leave quietly Okay, uh, your rat darts from out under the other sofa he wasn't trying to poke <laughs> at, um, sprints across the room, knocks over like a potted plant, and, and darts into what you assume is a bedroom. Good and then boy. he's like, what the fuck is this thing? And then he like stomps after it. Uh, no, he, got, he goes to the kitchen. Right, yeah, I'm just going to be like... <gasps> and just sort of like... Sneaky, 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 sneaky! <laughs> and then... <laughs> yeah, you, you get away with the laptop. You get away with everything. Um, and <laughs> you, you hear, like the sound of an aerosol can being shaken. Precious! And through the 
smaller than a rat-sized gap in the door. Because all it needs to be cottage. is head-sized. Exactly. The rat comes darting out. Good it actually ball. precedes you out the front door. Like, and, and I'm assuming you leave at this point. Yeah, I'm, I'm just like, right, I've, you know, there's somebody in there, I'm getting the fuck out, but I've got some stuff. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, so do, do, so I'm going to sort of go back down the alleyway and then just sort of like, do I have my, did I get my phone back off Nate, do you think? Actually, which of you guys has a phone now? You, oh, yeah, no, uh, you, cool, we gave you a phone. Hmm? Cool, we gave you a phone. You got one. You probably should have went and bought a phone. I mean, you can have done that. You'll have had time. Yeah. So, so basically, I'm going to sort of like just hide down the alleyway and just sort of like beep, beep, beep. Hello. I did it. I got some stuff. On the way out, you, you see uh, the guy who you like pressed up against the wall, like it, complaining to the guy at the front desk, like there's a terrible smell and now there's rats. Like It smells like pain. perfumed garbage in here. What the hell? Like somebody's been marinating meat, rotten meat, in in aftershave, and it's just gross. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to sort of be waiting in the alleyway for the, you know, the 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 spuba to to to, to roll up, and I'm just there like. <laughs> and yeah, everyone else turns up. Okay, I'll just, I'll just kind of like quickly sort of like unobfuscate and just like poof straight in the car. Hello! Hello, did this work? Look, I, I, I got a computer and some diaries and things and... Wait, oh, what? Give it, give, here, I just take the computer off her. Yeah. Just breaking and then, like, no I'll help. I'll be the one driving. Um, oh, I don't know who got a car, oh, but... There was a man searching the apartment, but I managed to get it. Oh, Precious was such a good boy, weren't you, Precious? Yes, you were. You did you get a picture? Hmm? A picture? Of the man? No, he was he was older and beardy, very beardy. He had a big grey hair beard, older man, sort of casually dressed. He was saying something about Grigor as well. He was asking after Grigor because I made a noise, and he came out and was like Grigor, and then went back in, and then I sneaked oh, in after him. And what else did you get other than the computer? What else? The diaries. There you go. Yeah, I think like made like fat, like thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You shouldn't read a lady's diaries, although I suppose Ace wasn't a lady, really. Okay, I think he, like, skipped through, like, recent weeks to see if he finds anything. Okay. Um, you, one of them appears to be in Renala's hand, so I'm assuming you'll go for that one first. Yeah. Um, you look back through recent weeks, and it's like, um, it's normal stuff, like, well... Uh, I'm I'm really happy with the work that's happening. Um, I've met this lady called Angelica. She says she has a, a promotion agency that will really help me. I'm not sure about it, but I'll. And she says I can think about it. And then, um, and then uh, there's obviously the party where she's like, uh, I saw Nate. It was really nice. I haven't seen him in so long. Um, uh, he looked weird. He looked pale. He didn't look well. But he acted fine, um, and that was really nice. So uh, then you move on past that. And it's like I'm getting weird messages from um, this group who call themselves the Kuluminati. That's a stupid fucking name. What the fuck's up with that? Um, and then, like, the next day, it's like, turns out. Illuminati is something to do with uh, that dickhead podcast guy, Matt. Apparently they've been listening to his conspiracy theories and they think Nate's like, I don't know, a magician or something and he casts and like controls people's minds. I told them they're idiots. And then moving on a couple of days, it's like um, and now I'm getting stalked by this Eric guy. It's really scary. I think. You just see like Nate's like hands grab. <laughs> he reads about Eric. He's like that fucking cunt. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then it moves on. It's like Nate has disappeared. I can't. 
get to him at all. I'm really worried. Um, the police officers say that they don't know what's happened to him. Um, Detective Borlu said she would like get on it though. She's contact. She told me to give her everything I have about this cool Illuminati group. So I did. Um, and then it kind of moves on, and eventually, uh, it's it, a mix of the mundane and a mix of fear in general that you get from this diary um, and about five days ago it just stops okay um and what was the other one um the other one appears to be a notebook in a much scruffier handwriting that you don't recognize okay I feel like he'd get the one, the one with like um, Renata's handwriting and just like fuck it at Marco and just be like, looks like Angelica's got some explaining to do and just like throw it at him. Hmm, this is very interesting. She knows okay. more than she's letting on. Uh, I take whatever notes I can and I put them in my coat pocket. And why the fuck didn't she reach me for like a modeling contract? Well, I don't know how to break this to you, but you looked in the mirror recently. Yeah, flawless. Keep oh. telling yourself that. And I just like pat him on the head. I just go back to looking at the notes. Okay, so with that, can I flip open the computer and like try my best with my technology to like open it? I probably and, like, didn't close it all the way, so it's like, because it was open and on. So I've probably like not closed it enough to actually like put it back to the, uh, the login. Only 10 Florence. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, that's a 99. There we go. Uh... It Wait. was closed. A 3D10, sorry. No, just one. Oh, one. sorry. Okay. Sorry. It was a two. Oh, so it is closed? It's closed. It's on the lock screen. But, Nate, this ain't shit to you. Uh, intelligence plus technology. Okay. This is where it comes down to. Remember, you have willpower if you really want it. Okay. Those reruns. And do I still get that plus one because we're at the thing, or are we in the camera? No, you don't down? get plus one. You just don't get a minus <laughs> one. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Three successes. Okay, you're in. Okay, perfect. Is, um, is her password just like something stupid? Password. Yeah, I think I think I scrolled through like all like layer, all of her photo shoots that like she always keeps going back to like her very first like you know things that we the women have been talking to. Hmm. <clears throat> um, what, okay. what kind of photo shoots would they be? Because some of them would be with you, Nate. Definitely, there's a few crossovers. Yes, yeah, so I think there would have been one like that we always did together. Like maybe like our favorite like um, duo. Because I doubt there's, like, many, like, male cosplayers in this town. So, like, she probably, like, teamed up with me to do a lot of duos. That's how we probably know each other. Hmm. Um, and what sort so of pictures wanna... are they? <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm <laughs> probably just very nature-esque. Very, um, very, like, like uh, uh, they're, they're very cosplayish. Very, very um, outdoorsy kind of. Probably, like, very, like not sexual but very like intense like you like you probably would like think that we were maybe a couple or something looking at them one of those the the fact that they turn up online together so often is like every there are definitely conspiracies um yeah like you two are dating or whatever you you um, definitely know about that. Normally, like her, like either like falling into my arms or something like that, or me like saving her when she's like perishing. You know, like we recreate like those, those dramatic like moments between Top couples. Ten thing. anime betrayal scenes. Yeah. That sort of shit. Okay. I think that's kind of what we would do. Um, cool. That's yeah. That's cool. Um. What else? And, and what was, okay. So we're, her computer's open, right? Yeah, her computer's open. 
What are you looking for? Um, I'm just going to scan the desktop real quick, see if there's anything that kind of jumps out at me. That's like strange. That wouldn't be on my desktop. Like any files named like not porn or um, <laughs> like secret. Is she one of these people who <laughs> saves everything to the desktop? You know? Yeah, like what is her actually name? file? Yeah, yeah, she is. She's, oh. There's like video files by like then true text. evil. In in chronological order, all of her files are on her desktop. So it's video, text, uh, like video game, video, 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 video. It's it's all on there, and then obviously ran out of space. So these are all. <laughs> um, okay, can, can I? Um, nothing seems out of place on the desktop. I don't think. Okay. Can I go? Can I open up the thing? You know that you can, see, you can go to like documents, and you got like recent files pops up. I think I check that next. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Um, wits plus technology to see exactly what you find. Okay. Six successes. Okay. Um, you find everything basically. Um, your whiz. And I feel like he's really chuffed when he's doing this. Like, he's like, "Wish you could do this, Marco." Yeah, look at these skills. Yeah, just got it. This, yeah. it's like, just like all this like, shit talk like me. Marco and I doesn't even care about. <laughs> I, I literally don't. I'm just like, I'm not even paying attention. I'm just like, oh, okay. <laughs> um. So on the laptop, you definitely find what the person in there was looking for last okay. and it appears to be in like the chrome tabs there's eric's blog there's ranala's social media accounts like the back end um there's uh, a link to a podcast like definitely that one's closed but you go back into the history. Uh, recent files, there is one recent file that um, seems to have been... It, the, the pops out to you. It's a, it's a video file, and it's after the diary. It was created after the diary entries stop. Okay. Yeah, I think I would... Yeah, so Nate would probably click into the blog first of all, Eric's blog, give it a quick scroll, in, like making sure no one's looking, and then he'd delete that link. Okay. You look through it, and you see a very recent blog update. Ooh. That appears to have gone out... Ah. That's that's uh, quick wits plus <laughs> awareness. Why not? It went out after you killed him. Oh. And it is literally a wall of text about how Renala's awful, how. Uh, you are special, and how Renala is the same as you, but she's evil and she's corrupted you, and he won't let her have you. It's all a conspiracy. People have been body swapped. There's, um, like, lines and lines and lines about how you two have been dating, and it's been the most magical time of his life, and he would die for you and it's like leave Britney Spears alone levels of emotion <laughs> yeah. poured into it into... yeah okay I think he wouldn't want to worry everyone but in Nate's head he's like okay either this was scheduled or someone has like control I don't think the, like I don't think he would think that like Eric is still alive maybe but I think he would it would hit a note with him that Renala is still a vampire, like is a vampire, or is that what he thinks? And that would make sense to him as why she was at the party and stuff. 
So I think, yeah, after he sees that, he would like go over it again and then just delete the link so that like the others can't find it because their technology is shit. Yeah. So that they, so they can't like associate him. Yeah, you never stick your dick in crazy. <laughs> <laughs> then I think he'd be like, he'd, um, he would just get everyone like to shut up and just like play, just like, hey, shh, I'm going to play this file. You need to like pay attention, okay? And he'd press it. Okay. Um, FLV media player pops up. Takes a little bit. Um, and then you see portrait mode video of really close up Renala, makeup running down her face, and she's whispering, and she seems terrified. Um, who's watching this? Well, oh, Florence is probably leaning over to be like, Ooh. yeah, yeah. I fully have ignored it. Okay, uh, Florence, full John, Blair Witch. <laughs> Sorry, I, I'm watching. I want to, I want to see. Okay, those who are watching make uh, wits awareness rolls. Yeah. Me as well? Oh yeah, yeah. Also, thank you for the raid. Yeah, thanks for the raid, skirmishers. Ooh. Skirmisher. Ooh, ooh. Two successes. Can I use uh, my power to re-roll? Three successes. Yeah, you can spend a willpower to re-roll if you want. Yeah, I think I'll re-roll. How do I, would I just re-roll, press re-roll? Uh, on your, the first page, just under the willpower bar, it says willpower re-roll. And then you can choose how many dice. Can I re-roll as well? Uh, you can if you want, yeah. So just the modifiers, I'll just put one for one re re willpower, right? You can, you can do three dice, so you put three. Yeah, the, the modifiers okay. is just uh, the dice. You will have to mark off the willpower by yourself. Okay. Oh. Uh, wow, nope. <laughs> sorry, willpower re-roll is the button. Nate. Yeah, not, not willpower. Willpower re-roll oh, is the one sure, to the left, left of it. Yep. That Florence was is the critical it. hits is pretty good though. <laughs> right? <laughs> Damn. Okay. It's yeah. So it's two one extra success. success, which gets you three, John three, Florence two. Um Florence, you don't really see anything, but um John and Nate both see things and they're different. So, Ooh. Nate, you recognize the, the background. It's blurry, but it looks grey and stone, and there's definitely like a flicker of color in there. You're fairly certain that she's in a church? Okay. When she recorded this, at least. Um, John, you see a figure in the background and the silhouette reminds you of someone it might be Gregor who's Gregor? I mean he's your fucking touchstone <laughs> oh that. shit <laughs> fuck me okay yeah okay so Florence has already mentioned him in the car by the way uh, yeah sorry <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> So, Nate, <laughs> yeah. my mind was in a my mind was going in a totally because Gregor's a very like you know, uh, uh, I, I was I was Inquisition head. <laughs> that and needs to be like, the regular or something. It's your fucking touch. <laughs> sorry, for a, for a second there, I was too much in John, but I'm I'm with you now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. So this girl balls her eyes out, um, and is whispering. And she says, they, I don't know who they are, but they have told me to stop all of my uh, social media stuff. I, they're, they're scaring me. I, 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 I've done what they said. I've stopped, I've stopped posting. I, I've deleted some stuff, but I don't know what they want with me. They keep on asking me questions about Nate. They keep on asking about where Eric's gone. I don't, I don't know. 
I'm scared. If anyone ends up seeing this, I hope it gets posted. Or something. But... Please, these cool Illuminati freaks, these old men, weirdos, they're creepy. And they're scary. And they have weapons. I, d I don't know what to do anymore. Okay. I think N Nate would definitely like, close the laptop and make sure it's closed. Because like I think he wants full control of this information. This is his. <clears throat> I think he's like really mad too. So you can see his like hands are, like ripping the computer. He's like Angelica. Now. Whoa. Mm. Um. I saw something in the back there. What? Of that video. And. <gasps> what video? Don't worry. Oh my god! Are you uh, dense? Get us to Angelica. Well, oh, I'm saying sit down now. Let the poor I, boy talk. I might know someone about this because I recognise. I think I recognise that man in the back. What the man? man? The man I saw in the back of the video. Did you not see him? No. And then, oh. like, Nate, like, quickly, like, opens up the computer and, like, it's like, where, where? And it's yeah. like, he's like yeah. grabbing his eyes, like, where? Yeah, just there, there. You see that. Kind of dog uh, shit. Let me oh, see what yeah. this video. Yeah, well, let me watch it. No. <laughs> like, he looks, he's, like Nick is not giving you the computer because you know they're probably gonna break it. He's like, you can look at it, but you don't look with your hands. <laughs> I'm I'm pretty sure that's someone that I know. His name is Gregor, and he oh. runs our family. Oh, that the the the, the 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 man in the flat with the beard and everything. He he was uh, saying he said Gregor. He was looking for Gregor. Wait, he knows Gregor. Well, I think I I made I made a noise while I was opening the door, and he came out. He's like Gregor. I'm getting out of the car. <laughs> 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 oh, wait, the dude is still moving. Why are you getting out of the car? <laughs> wait, we're moving. <laughs> I'm jumping that? out of the car. Seriously? If we're if we're moving, I'm jumping out the car. Are you on the pavement side of the car? Uh, no, wherever I am. <laughs> Dex acrobatics Dex -ex. or athletics, even. Um, uh, it's not going to be too bad because as soon as you open the guy, the, open the door, the driver stops. Uh, Fuck. Who? Face first. <laughs> Down the hill across the board, like guard yeah. in the city. <laughs> Into like, the mud, like <laughs> breaks John both legs of the <laughs> uh, John, you take three superficial damage as you oh. get fucking skid. Uh, it tears up your lovely new leopard print tie. Yes. <laughs> Is he and fucking crazy? I'm gonna, like, I'm, gonna start, the the... I'm gonna start running back. Uh, back I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out and follow him. Wait up! Uh, I'm... <laughs> I'm sorry. I give some money to the taxi driver. We have to go. <laughs> I think we both like like it out, then, so. Like, I'm still stopping that note inside my. Uh... As, so my little uh, note pocket. Yeah, uh, Floris is just scurrying after John as fast as her little legs can carry her. I don't know exactly where I'm going, so <laughs> unless someone helps me, I'm gonna get lost. I think. Everyone, uh, like, are you we... giving Florence a chance to catch up with you? Because she probably no. knows. No. All right. I'll, I'll leap after him. Okay. See my leap ability. In public. <laughs> In the <laughs> middle of the street. Yeah, this is like yeah. Main Street. <laughs> I mean, I think it's gonna. I think it's already a give. I think it's already a giveaway. If this guy just fell out of a car and is now dashing, no, like, I, I rolled out. I rolled out the car, and that, like that's kind of dumb. Leaping in the middle of the street, <laughs> I guess. But like, you're it's already. No, come guess. on! He's just some random pisshead being chased by an old lady. Yeah. All right. All right. You, you, you can know. leap if you want. I'm not gonna stop you. This is up to. Nah, you. I'll stop. <laughs> I'm like, let him go. I don't know where he's going. <laughs> John, wait up! Where are you going? I don't know. I'm going back to where you saw that man. 
All right, well, you're going to take a left here. Okay. Uh, you wait John up for me? I can't keep up with you, you bugger. Which streetwise, John Florence? Oh, why? <laughs> <laughs> Would anyone like to guess what my streetwise is? Zero. I got a one. <laughs> Out of two. Five, motherfuckers. Florence knows where she's going. <coughs> you listen Light. to her, John. Um, if she can keep up with me, sure. That is, um, remains to be seen. But I'm going full out. Okay, uh, Stamina Athletics, John. Stamina Athletics, Florence. Eh, I've got decent stamina. Just lunges at you and clings onto your back. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think Florence, you get one point hungrier mm. just from exertion. Yeah. Um, John disappears. I think. Yeah. John? Yeah. You win the wave. Alright, well I'm just gonna head back to the, the building. I don't think we got that far, right? Probably only a few streets. Hmm. No. Probably. I, I have stopped running at this point. I am fully walking. Okay. Do I, do I, the, the important quest is do I find my way to the to the place? I probably uh, I was shouting directions till you got too far ahead, so uh take a left and a right then second left of the traffic lights you know you're close john okay um roll me wits awareness yeah right uh, oops four successes <clears throat> uh you're not at the place you're not where you were you're close okay. by though and someone matching the description of the guy that Florence told you about that was at the place walks by. I grab him. Strength brawl. Oh! Hang on. And you su succeed in pulling both of his arms off and making <laughs> it. <laughs> you slam him up against the wall. He goes through the wall. Yeah. Your fist um, goes through him. Okay. Um, what once was a man is now a bloody pulp. Now the question is, are you trying to hurt him? <coughs> no. No. But I will slam him against the wall. You 100% have him grappled. Uh, I slam him against the wall. He is surprised. And you, sla you slam him against the wall. Is that strength yeah. brawl again? Is that what you sure. want to do? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, strength roll. Please don't crush him. I just, I just imagine you, I slam him up against the wall, and then you're like, then what do you do? And then I slam him up against the wall. <laughs> and then I slam him up against the wall. Yeah. Okay. Doesn't so... even look for an answer. Uh, the guy uh, seems to be a, like hurt from it. Yeah. Um, and then like he's confused and he's like, the fuck is going on? Who the fuck are you? Get off me. And he's just like an older, gruffer sounding guy. Mm. Um, I'm just kind of grabbing him, like pushing him against the wall. Hello, mate. Uh, do you know Gregor? Like I said, who are you and what do you want? I'm John and I want to find Gregor. I don't know Gregor. Who is I, he? I had a friend of mine saying that you were calling his name while you were rooting for a flat earlier. Oh, it was you. And he roots for something in his pocket. I'll smack him. Okay. That is strength. Strength brawl. <laughs> yeah, stick to my guns. <laughs> The oh. guns. Three successes. Just, just um, I'm gonna, <laughs> gonna re-roll that as well. Okay. 
I can do three. Just three successes. Uh, Yeah, I can do three. Yeah, you can do three. Uh, That's five. five. Okay. Uh, what was what was the thing? Okay. Okay. Um, you smack him. He feels it, and um, a uh, a flare flicks out of his hand, out of his pocket, and across the street. Okay. It doesn't go off. It doesn't go off. It's got its cap on. It's just a red stick, basically. Now, don't try anything like that, mate. Where's Gregor? Or I'll hit you again. <laughs> uh, manipulation, intimidation. All right. Uh... Oh, okay. Two successes. Okay, okay. Don't hurt me. Um, Gregor, he's at St. Christopher's. He hangs out there sometimes. What's that? It's a fucking church. All right. You idiot. Get off me. What's he doing there? What's he got his claws into this time? It's just... He seems concerned about some things that have been going on. So he's taken matters into his own hands. And why were you going through that apartment? Were you nicking stuff? Yeah, I was just stealing stuff, okay? One point can uh, Florence come hobbling up probably just about in a second um (laughs) so i'm gonna say uh right which way's the church he just points down the street i'm gonna grab his head like a spot against the wall and strength brawl (laughs) um and roll me Uh, before you do that okay uh Five dice. Alright. Uh, D10s, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> just, just pick the dice. <laughs> uh, oh, <laughs> shit. Okay. <laughs> um, as you smack his head against the wall, let's do the strength brawl now as well. As okay. you smack his head against the wall, uh, you notice that his other hand... <laughs> fucking hell. Um, Should I re-roll that? <laughs> Do you want to re-roll? So the no, thing... fuck it, I'm in. You can re-roll and it's like hope a watermelon. That you get less successes because otherwise you're going to smash this guy's head into a very fine pulp. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> so as uh, Florence rounds the corner to John, what are you doing? Uh, I grab his head and I squash it against the wall. The florist is just like... Uh. And it pops. Oh! John, you mad bugger! What are you doing? What? You can't do that in public! Come on, let's go! Run! You've murdered somebody in the street! But we gotta go to the church. Alright, well, let's go! Wait, go! Just wipe your hand off! Oh, for God's sake, come on, let's go! I'm just, like, hurrying him down a side alley in the direction of the church. (laughs) Come on, you mad bugger! (laughs) What's wrong with you? Look, I just mashed people's heads into the wall! I... I don't see why not. Because it's... People notice that sort of thing. How how visible was I in this instance? You're in the fucking... Because I didn't try and drag him into an alley or anything. Like, wherever I found him, that's where I killed him. Um, the, the, you know what? The street is suspiciously clear of people. Okay. Um, you probably heard a few shouts. Um, yeah. and as his body 
falls to the floor limp. Uh, you notice that his other hand falls out of his pocket and there's kind of a sound of a shortwave radio being released. Okay. Florence so he, is like, Come he on, probably let's go. knows I'm coming now. All right. Oh, good, great, wonderful. That's lovely, fantastic. I'm so glad. Come on. I don't see why you're complaining about this. I'm not complaining about it. I'm being everything's fine. Where are we going? I got I got a little bit lost. Yes, I know. Well, you found him apparently. Flipping. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's quite is... lucky. Here, here's a hanky. You got some. You got a little something here and here and there. Wipe yourself off. Would need. And... Right, come here, come here. Right. I'm... No, we don't know because we no, gotta go no. to the church. I know, but we need to clean it's... you off because. No, I'll, I'll just lick it off. It's fine. No, it's fine. fine. No, 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 get off. It's fine. No, no it's fine. No. no. <clears throat> so yeah, Florence is just like full on mumming him. Come on, let's go. I'm probably gonna grab him by the ear and just try and drag him. Right, I'm I'm picking her up and ah! we're running. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just yeah, gonna sling her over my shoulder. Tell me where to go. Oh, you just put me the, put me down, young man. Stop trying to wipe me. Most inappropriate. Where am I going? I, 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 I can't see. I'm, well, just look around. Where well, are we going? Oh, uh, uh, turn me around. All right, I'm gonna start running backwards. <laughs> this is uh, right, right here, and then left. Second I go time. left and then right because I'm no. Not otherwise, stop. Don't put me down. Just... Oh, okay, yeah. This way. At this point, right. I, I think tell you what. We walk and see them at the end yeah. of the street. Yeah. Like, Marco, yeah. Marco and Nate, do you want to have followed them or are you doing something else? Yeah, I would think we would have followed our. Yeah, I'd be following them. Okay, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm just gonna have you hold of your speed? ears and just be tugging them to mm. like, Ow, hear you. Fucking this, this stop way, it! This way! This way! <laughs> Marco and Nate, your casual stroll speed has uh, caught up with these two. Um, Can I dominate him? Dominate who? Um, John. I'm not facing you for a start. Yeah, you just want to catch his eye. Back with the flowers. Uh, I want to like, yeah, I, yeah. Can I like run, like run, run over behind him, wherever he's looking? You can Probably, try. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna uh, try. Yeah, you try. Con- uh, I'm gonna check what the contested role is <laughs> for for this particular level. Is it visible when someone dominates someone? Uh, there's no outward appearance of being dominated. Okay. However, because if I catch when that you're dominating him, I will probably beat Nate's ass. <laughs> Why? Um, because you did it to me know. once, and I told you I hated it. Now you're doing for doing it willy nilly to someone else in our group. Nate, right. resolve yeah. plus intimidation. John, wits plus awareness. You'd have to give him a good reason of why you're doing it. Resolve they can really plus intimidation. Uh, Wait, yes. Zero. <laughs> resolve and intimidation. You're not saying you can't convince him, but I mean, this you is, could try it. This is between the two of you then. Um, <laughs> unless one of you wants to spend willpower. Can Florence I try? Can't see what's I have going on. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll spend willpower. Okay. Yeah. Nate, you have two dice to re-roll. Okay. John? Do you have to roll the two of them or can I? Yeah. Yeah, you have. Well, you don't have to roll the two of them, but it oh, makes damn. no difference, to be honest. Um, <laughs> Sure, I'll, I'll re-roll as well. <laughs> uh, I got two dice to re-roll. Wait. Uh, you don't. Oh, have I got three? Yeah, I can do three, right? Yes, you can do three. Yes. I'm going to change where the box shows. <laughs> Damn! Okay. So, uh, I imagine there's like a bit of awkwardness and Nate's... What are you what are you saying to him? All I was going to do is like put her down and I was going to like be like more forceful about it. Um, I will stop though and I'll, I'll be like we need to go to the church. Then we'll go, but put her down. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. 
This church is uh, the same. Do one. that again, young man. Or I'll, um, you're not too old to go with my knee, you know. I'm confused. I'm gonna wipe some blood off and just lick it, because <laughs> I'm still pretty blood splattered. I imagine. I, I think Florence sort of like did a reasonably good job, but you've probably got a lot of Florence phlegm on you as well now. Because I mean, that's fine. <clears throat> um. So yeah. Sorry, just, right. Just, it, yeah. Yes. Yeah. This way. Come on. Let's go. Yeah. Away from the bloody murder scene. Oh, he's just mashed somebody's head into a wall. By the way, just just so you know. What the fuck? What the hell? How did you do that so quickly? We have, we literally walked here. John. It is bloody efficient. I don't, just, 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 honestly, I thought you were a nice young man. You even you feel bad about it. Well, fucking no. Pete deserved it for breaking into Renala's apartment. If you knew what they've done <laughs> like to you. Deadpan serious. Right. Like... <laughs> what do they do to you, dear? What do they do to you? Another time, right? we got to go. I've got to go find Gregor. Really? I'm going to do that to him as well. No, oh, 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 just, be- wait, 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 wait. just before we do that, who is Gregor and why exactly? I think I, if I'm going to be involved in another murder, I think I'd probably quite like to know why. All right, so you know, I agree. You we, can, know we can walk and talk at the yeah, same yeah. Time. We walk and walk and well, like kind of jog and talk, yeah. Because all right, jog, fine. Well, because they're at the, the yes, radio, just, so get on with it. Come on. All right, fine. Fuck. Um. <laughs> We're jogging and talking, come on. So, you know, uh, you know, I talk about our family and how I, I lived with them before I was, uh, back when I was human. Yes. Well, like, I, I was, I wasn't born into them, I was, like, left there. And then Gregor was the head of our family and he, like, he looked after us. And, like, I used to fight to earn my food. Right. You know, so like, uh, when I was younger, me and Saffron, we used to like fetch and carry, you know, this kind of thing. You really gotta stop that because I'm gonna <laughs> go. <laughs> Sorry, you mentioned power walking. I was just doing some power walking. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, you know, me and Saffron, we used to fetch and fetch and carry when we were kids, and then when I grew up, obviously, you know, I started fighting. You know, just kind of like. Street fighting, you know, Ooh, kind of boxing. The old yes, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Nothing official, but kind oh, of no, like never is. You know, there was lots of betting on it and stuff like that. And if I won, I ate well. And um, one night, I took a bit of a beating. You know, as unbelievable as that might sound, Ooh. and they thought I was gonna die, so they dumped me out in the woods, and that's when I was found by. Soria and Mario, and right. they, they turned me because Saffron begged them to, and now she's paying off her debt with them, and so am I. Right. And so I, Gregor I was, left you to die. Yeah. Well, it was on his orders. Yeah, because they didn't want any any trouble from the from the police, did they? What a bugger! And he's yeah. in the video on the laptop as well. Yeah. So that's why I'm going to go there and rip his head off. Possibly yeah. his heart out. Maybe I'll stick his head up his ass. I don't know. I'm going to get creative in this one. All right, dear. I just think that maybe maybe you want to think about it before you go murdering somebody. Did you, know, you not cause... hear what I just said? I clearly thought about what I'm going to do. What oh, I right. am confused yeah, about... I'm... Sorry to interject. No. Sorry to interject. <laughs> but what I am confused about <laughs> is... You have not been with us very f- recent. You've only been with us very recently, right, John? Yeah. So whoever has done this must know that you are connected to us in some way, shape, or form of someone might... that we've recently met with. Nah, it might just be a coincidence because <laughs> Gregor's always getting his fucking fingers into stuff. Hmm, I see. The the guy I killed said he was like, um, he was just nicking stuff from that place. So, fuck, and you fuck, believed man. him. Oh, who cares? He's dead. That is true. But you cannot take his word for it. His brain is a smashed up pulp, so his word is dead. Well, knowing people Gregor hangs around with, his brain was already smashed up pulp. And uh, hmm. we got to get there quick, because from what I can tell, he was on the radio to Gregor. And I'm going to speed up. <laughs> um, so, I don't Take know. Take back, right? 
I, I don't know how you want to play this, uh, Josh, but I don't feel bad at all. So, like, stains, etc. It's probably a... It's probably your a touchstone. Idea. So, you yeah. are probably, at, on a very base level, aware that causing harm to a touchstone in a non-mechanical sense would definitely give you a stain on your soul. But yeah. if you, it's what you want to do, I'm not... It's like narratively I, there's no reason not to yeah like book it's only because that person represents something to you and mm. is a connection to your humanity um if they die it will be like an upheaval in yeah. your uh emotionally for you but like you might recover from it it won't yeah. necessarily be a bad thing i'm not going to stop you yeah well, i was talking about the guy i just killed Oh, the guy you just killed? Yeah, because like the, the way remorse works, right, is you feel bad and therefore you don't lose humanity. Yes. I'm just saying I don't feel bad, so if you want to give me extra shit for, for that, like that would make sense to me. Okay, yeah, take a stain. Okay. And we'll we'll roll it off later. How far are we from the church? No, very. Uh, the posh part of town is quite close to the old part of town, which is where the church is. We must get to the church on time. What time of day is it again? Or, like, what time of night, I should say? Hmm, by this point, it's probably been a few hours, so it's like 11pm. Okay, so we have plenty of night time. Yeah. yeah. Plenty of night time. I think I would activate my thingy, the soft walk thing. As we got closer. <clears throat> you want silent walk? Yes. The, the like, deathly silence. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, No free. sound. So, um, everyone I've else? actually got that, but I'm not Well, gonna... once we get to the church, I intend to leap onto the roof. Okay, yeah. So let's say we all arrive at the, um, at the church. It's yeah. kind of your classic, um, old few hundred years old Catholic uh, sorry not Catholic, Protestant English church, so made out of stone and not very big but obviously very ornate, stained glass windows, uh, lead roof tiles um, square um, steeple whatever it's called and a bell um, and kind of square we're not, uh, no, it's cross-shaped. There's, yeah. Yeah. Um. <coughs> because, because fucking architecture. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> Christians, they like to make things really obvious, or they, at least they did in the Middle Ages. Yeah. yeah. Um, anyway. I'm going to hop up on to the roof and see if there's a way into the church through the bell. Okay. Sometimes there's usually stairs that... Uh... So that will be a dex athletics roll for you. John, what are you doing? Uh, I'm going to go straight to the front door. Okay. It doesn't appear to be locked. It is closed. It is big and wooden. Yeah. Bef before I try and push it open, though, <laughs> I'm going to turn back to whoever's still here and be like, you're sure I'm not going to like burst into flame or... No, I've been in churches before. Nice and warm. Do I still have the I think it won't knife? be hard to give him a good sob story. Yeah, yeah, you still have the knife. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna like draw the knife and just be ready to like help. Well, so Lawrence is gonna spend another point of hunger and and obfuscate again. It's be like, I'll just be here. Isn't that a Rouse? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, never mind. You don't oh. automatically lose hunger for. Oh, that's true. That's true. Right. Never mind. I wouldn't be able to reach the oh. roof. Okay, hey. There we go. Yeah, obfuscate. Um, I'm gonna grip my teeth, close my eyes, push. You burst into flame. Shit! No. You're fine. <laughs> uh, it's a heavy wooden door, so it takes a bit of oomph. Um, well, not for you, uh, but there's the sound, there's the clanging, there's the metal, there's the wood. Um, Florence will slip in behind him. It's I'm gonna have to follow behind, too. Uh... You I, 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 I read up onto leap. I can only leap. Uh, oops, I just 
Well, I just accidentally deleted it. <laughs> um, there we go. No, I didn't. Um, I can only leap one, uh, my potency level times three in meters vertically. And I looked up standard church height and they're like 35 meters high. They're, they're quite high. Okay. Yeah. So you could do oh, a there's couple probably of... all sorts of gargoyles and shit. You can, you you know, could maybe that. like jump, 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 you know, kind of like. You could do a couple of jumps. Um, but if I do that, it does say that the cost is free. Yeah, for yeah leap. It's, it's free. Okay. I grew you up a couple in a of village. jumps. You will have to do a, a Dex athletics. Yeah, yeah. I grew up in a village with a with a church like that. They're just like yeah. covered in freaking knobbly bits of stone and things. And hmm. uh, easy, well, just now that I know that your plans to burst through the door, though, I don't know if going on the roof is even helpful. I'm going straight there, so you would have seen that before you even tried to. All right, I'll just follow behind you then. There's no point. Okay, I'm gonna push in, stride in. Okay, you stride in. On your left uh, is a huge wooden kind of partition, and then at the very top of it is an organ. There are a couple of doors that way. Uh, rows and rows and rows of pews, and as you come in, there is the altar. Uh, I guess there would be like a table and an altar, and it's not lavishly decorated. It's Protestant. Um... But you do see a man in black with the uh, dog collar. Um, uh, hi. Okay. He's no. <laughs> <laughs> like, no. Distinctly wow. not. Kind of. Burn. I, very big frizzy hair. Is he looking at us? He's looking away. Okay. Um, He's seemingly <clears throat> fiddling with some paper on him. Can I tell if it's Gregor? No. No. Not Gregor. Okay. Um, you all go in the front door? Yeah. Uh, I'll do this. I'll do this. I will go through the front door and then leap horizontally as close to the first person I can see as I can. Knife wielded. Okay. Um, then wits awareness rolls from you all. Florence is gonna sort of like dodge off to one side, probably towards the organ. Towards the organ? Okay. <laughs> of course, uh, Florence goes for the organ. <laughs> of course. Um, uh, two. Awareness. Two. Oh, yeah. Oop. Um, yes. Nate, are you fighting with us? Mm -hmm. oh, I didn't know if you were following us. On. So it was a coin flip, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm gonna move forward and I'm gonna like try and dominate the, the priest guy if I don't see anyone else. Uh, so yeah, Nate, I you don't really see anyone that isn't the priest. Okay, yeah, I think I would go to the priest and I try and like get his attention. Do I see anything with a four? With a four, uh, you see. Well, let's do everyone who basically doesn't see anything first. So that's everyone but you. Florence, uh, there's no one in your way. You get a point hungrier, though. There's something about this place that resonates badly with your beast. Yeah. Um, and yeah, you can because you're obfuscated, be pretty much wherever you want. But you don't see anyone that isn't the priest. Marco. Um, everyone walks ahead of you and Nate's off to the priest. You take a few steps past where it kind of opens up into the main hall of the room and you instantly recognise that there are at least three people hidden in various spots around this room. And you know at least one of them, catching out of the corner of your eye, is up by the organ with a crossbow trained on you. I'll leap up to him. You leap up to him. Um, that is... Dex Athletics. And I am going to 
going to check this. And we'll re-roll one of them. Or three of them. Uh, you have two to re-roll there, actually. Two? Okay. One will power. Nice. That is uh, four successes. Um, I do need to roll his things. <laughs> Okay. I just see me like running over to the priest, like, come here, let me dominate you. And then, like, John's just like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and I'm just like jumping up <laughs> towards something. Yeah, and Florence is just like, doop de doo. This is great. He has athletics. He can do flips and shit. You gotta say that then. You're flipping over pews and you're like, no, Dodging he's under. going. No, no, no! Up. You got to do the ninja thing oh. and just run on the back of yeah. the pews. Just <laughs> like he's using his footwalks to get a little close to the cow without making a nine. <laughs> <It's in the laughs> <Ruta run. laughs> yeah. Uh, d d d I need to roll his stuff, which is this. Oh shit! It's the ninjas and the smelly grandma. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Marco, uh, so you said you wanted to get up to him. Yeah. What's the plan? And like up close him? to him. Yeah. What's the plan once you get there? Oh, full on gonna hurt him. Gonna stab him. Uh, okay. Because that was athletics. Let's say you have an advantage on him. He does not see uh, see this eventuality coming. He has the height. So by the time you get there, he's like off balance and still pointing his clearly a big crossbow down to where you were. Um, and you're not trying to do this quietly, are you? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, I think... I mean, we, we charged through the front door, so I don't think we're going to... I think stealth is out of the question here. Hey, very speak much to a, yourself. John's I mean, very much a go loud. If he's turned away from you, you can... No. What? Hmm? Yeah, he had the crossbow trained on him, so... Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I thought you were out about the other guys. Uh, Nate. Unless you, yeah, I was like, unless you don't want me to stab him. Get <coughs> stealth to see how close you get to this priest before the ruckus happens. That's what I want to know. <clears throat> and I think this... <coughs> Crap. <laughs> this is your aesthetic. Mm. So you're fine. No plus ones, but at least no minus ones. Okay. So, wait. Like, is this before or after that Marco is after jumping? Uh, this is as Marco is coming in and doing that. Okay. Seeing him I think I'll, I'll, like, the knife will be, like, hidden, obviously, but it'll be, like, within reach, and I'll just be like, can you, uh, can you help me? In my innocent gay voice, transcends the <laughs> the church. It, it echoes. So you're not trying to get close to him now. Oh no, I am. Yeah, I will be okay, getting close. So like, I'll try and get as close as I could to see exactly how close. Okay, swap so roll. Dex stealth. Okay. Why is my stealth so bad? Like, you need to like. I mean, you don't get four dots in everything. Not yet. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that is bad. You are basically at the other end of this uh, set of pews hmm. to him um, when Marco's shit goes down. So you say, okay. "Can you help me with something?" And there's a clatter, and he turns around. Uh, John and F does he no, turn John. to me or does he turn to them? Probably to you. Okay, because you're the most obvious, John. I can't see anyone else, right? You can only see the priest. And he's turned around now. Uh, yeah, where do you want to be when that happens? Uh, just in the middle of the room. I'd, I'd have walked kind of into the room and then... I think, seeing as this isn't, uh, seeing as this isn't Gregor, uh, Nate gets first dibs at this guy because he's looking for someone he cares about, possibly. I'm really not sure what the relationship is, to be he honest. He has with emotions point. about. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Um, so, I'm just gonna stand there. 
Um, until obviously something happens. I don't have a... Okay. Uh, yeah. So, let's reset the scene and show where everyone is. Okay. Um, Nate and John are stood in the centre, quite far away from the priest, who is at basically the opposite end of the church. The um, assailants are unseen by Florence, John and Nate. Marco, however, however has the advantage of after making a lot of noise and jumping up to the place where the organ is and catching one of the crossbow wielding people off guard um what would you all like to do now the priest has turned round to Nate and he's looking at you and looking between now you Marco and John, like looking between you, a little bit confused, but with a smile on his face. Why have you come here? Florence is just because Florence is unaware of anybody else yet, right? So she's just going to continue sneaking on up to the uh, to the organ. Okay, I think it's not going to be too hard. It's like through a vestry, mm. you see all the clothes and then up and around and there's an organ but there's also Marco and this guy <laughs> oh right um, so if 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 I see this then I'm just gonna sort of like oh I must help Marco and uh, join in that fray okay yeah Marco what are you what are you doing to this guy just shanking him Sorry, I just got a very weird email for okay. a very weird sponsorship, and I'm very confused. <laughs> um, the uh, uh, maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll try to apprehend this guy and stick my knife to this guy's throat and not stab first. Okay, yeah, that's probably intimidation and should you say dex you're not actually saying anything do i get an advantage because of athletics oh, yeah, yeah. yeah you get plus one who are we rolling <laughs> I'm rerolling that. <laughs> okay, spend a willpower. How much do I reroll from that? Uh, you can roll two. Whew, thank God. Okay, so that's three. Um, the guy drops his crossbow, just puts his hands up, and his breathing starts to elevate. But he didn't say anything. Can I just go? Boom. He nods. As I'm, holding, as I'm holding this knife to his throat. And I want to see what the rest of the group does. Floris is going to pop up and be like, everything all right there? <laughs> oh, fucking shit. <laughs> I thought that was the wrong accent, but... <laughs> Just, like, it. slashes his throat in surprise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, oh. I thought that I would be able to smell you, but I guess I'm used to the stench. Oh, thank you. Did, did, you not, did you not notice that they have men posted up around the corners? Well, not until I got up here. But anyway, is there anybody else? I don't know, but go check on the others. Oh, 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 I'm going to grab the crossbow. <laughs> what's that? Oh, crossbow. It is loaded. Oh, lovely. Right. Um, it's in, that case, in that case, I'm going to sort of like <laughs> lean over the balcony and see and, and see if I can see any other dudes. Okay. I'm yeah, going to. That's wits awareness plus one. And I'm just going to like motion over to the sky. I'm like, 
this man and I are getting very intimate with each other, are we not? I'm looking over to him as I'm holding this knife to his throat. I just look back like, what? Oh, okay. <clears throat> All right. Uh, what was it? Wits awareness again. Wits awareness plus one. I never find wits when I actually need them. And... <clears throat> Oh shit! Plus one. Hang on, I forgot to do the press one. Yeah, roll an extra one. Um. Hmm. Okay. Wow. Four, four successes. That did make a difference, by the way. Mm. Just mm -hmm. so you know. Okay. Four successes. You can see there are, aside from the priest, from your vantage point, three other people in this room. All of them have crossbows. There's one on the left one covering the door that you came through and they're kind of hidden behind the rows of pews and one at the far end hidden behind a um, uh, kind of pillar grey pillar um, right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to immediately point these out who does not to... have a uh, crossbow. crossbow he just seems to be right. standing there I'm going to be like tap, tap, tap. point them out to, uh, to Marco John and Nate. So I am giving Nate 30 <laughs> No! Okay. I'm um... giving Nate 30 <laughs> to a minute before I start shouting for Gregor. Okay. Um, I'm going to dominate him if I can. Okay. Um, go Wait, on. me or the priest? Uh, the priest. <laughs> you had to think about it. <laughs> uh... I was like, will I dominate him? <laughs> You also dominate happy, aren't you? Yeah. You get a domination. You get a, you all get dominated. If you guess the way that's that, I probably would have dominated John. <laughs> okay. Please. Um, um roll me your dominate. Okay. Um, and tell me what you say. Okay. I want to say, like... Um... Hmm... Wait, hold on. I need to find Dominate, first of all. Where is... They'll be down in your disciplines. Wait, right, here he is. Yes. Okay. So... Discipline rule. Okay, submit. Okay, there we go. So I think I would say like, <clears throat> um, where um, I'm missing a friend. Have you seen Renala? And I'd be very like specific on my words. Now you know questions don't work. Yeah, that's what I was hoping you would say are... that. Um, okay. Commands. Uh, okay. Commands. Do okay. Do thing. Um. I, I think it'd be like, um. Come over here. Um. Make me a wits occult roll. Ooh. He kind of stands there, looks around, and then walks over to you. And then when he gets there, he's like, he like he's like close, within t okay. talking. To I just look at John like, grab him. <laughs> and grab as he him. arrives, he says, "What can I do for you, my child? You seem lost." And then you say, "Grab him." <laughs> and yeah. I grab him. I I immediately go to grab him. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Shit's going down. I think I draw and I'm like, I'm not lost. I'm found. <laughs> uh, you got to make strength brawl. Strength brawl. Yeah. <laughs> it's a breeze. He uh, hardly knows. Like, like uh, there are some. Who are not Please. <laughs> Just, just... <laughs> Give us a break. This one is just one place in nowhere knows Taekwondo or something. 
Hang on, hang on. That I big... did also jump out of a car, remember, just saying. <laughs> no. And I heard, I heard a lot of dice there as well. <laughs> no, I don't roll those. Um, you grab him. Um, and he's, ooh! <laughs> <laughs> he, he's into it. This is actually a giant priest sex party. Like yeah. It's like a sex theme party. You you can tell that he's been through some stuff by his, like he looks like maybe 50 and he's, his hair's all wiry and all over the place and uh, he, he very thin faced, but yeah. You, you like have he him, he's of, like, um, what? Does, does, does he look like Father Jack? Okay. Um, <laughs> no. I think it would draw the knife and I'd be like, where's my friend? Uh, who's your friend? I think I'd like poke the knife closer to him, like just pressing his skin. Don't bullshit. Where is she? <laughs> like I don't even care if he does know or not. I'm just in, like that angry. I'm, in his defense, Nate, you haven't actually said who you're looking for, mate. I'm fully giggling. I'm like, is he trying to be intimidating? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, maybe. What's your mate's name? Renala. Renala. Uh, you know. Okay, so you're going to have to make like a series of rolls here. <laughs> um, first off, make me manipulation intimidation. Okay. Okay. Did not real. Well, you have wow. two dice for that? That's not possible. Where, where did you put your skills? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I have none in intimidation. That's why I went. That's why I was laughing. So I was like, I, I know he has none in intimidation. He's tried to do it before. And I'm like, oh. okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, and in that case, can I assist maybe or something? Because I, I am grabbing. <laughs> I presume you'd be intimidating him anyway because you'd be holding him like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Delhi, Delhi, Delhi! You really got to start marking off your willpower when you do rerolls. Oh, I thought I did. It's oh, not no. there. I got rid of them. You've done two, I believe. No, because I did some more as well. Let's, like I did. Let's quickly check. Uh, I did three and then I did I two, need right? You to re roll willpower. Oh, it, it's. I mean, you. In I'm just gonna make sure you've got the right amount of willpower. Because yeah, because I did three and I did two. I know, like, I. I definitely. Oh, maybe it's because I switched the windows to the reset? No? I don't know. Uh, okay. But you've done five rerolls? No? Will I just do two? Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah what do you need? Yeah, sorry. You've done five? No, you don't think you've done five? No. This, this session? No. I think I only, I only did two. Done, I think you've done two or three? Yeah. So it's re-rolled with me, uh, okay. and then, uh, one earlier, I think. Jesus, boy. I've done you... a lot of rolls tonight. Okay, uh, you're gonna need to well. roll me willpower, and you do that by just clicking the willpower button underneath the thing. Four successes. Um, actually, John. Yeah. You gotta roll it as well. Radaru? Uh, um, Nate, mm -hmm. a shiver goes through you as this man clasps the cross hanging from his neck, but you don't go anywhere. Um, however, John. You need to let go of this man immediately. Some you like the beast inside of you screams and you have to let go of him and you take a couple of steps back and you can't look at him. There's something going on here. Can I stab him? Me? Why? <laughs> <laughs> you failed me. You let go. Why did you do that? <laughs> um Okay. Um, so you're you're trying to stab this guy. 
Yeah, as soon as I see John let go, if John let go of him and it was in control, I would just, I, I, I'm just like, fuck this fucking magic voodoo shit. And I would just like okay. slash. Dex melee. Okay. Um, and he's going to try and dodge. I'm glad I put that one point in. And Shit's got as he's dangerous. kind of grabbing his thing and, and stepping back, he he's saying, you've, you've come to the right place, but what? And then you stab him. <laughs> Good. Um, oh, shit. And I'm going to have... To... I'm going to say, I know I fucking have. Where is she? <laughs> I'm going like... over to the, the guy next to me, and I'm like, I'm so sorry about them. <laughs> well, the thing is, at this point, um, the, the people, Marco and Florence... You realize as soon as Nate moves to stab this guy, it all kicks off. Like the people. Even the guy in, with, in my grasp? Uh, he's not doing anything because you have him no. locked down. But the other two with crossbows get up from where they are and shoot at. Um, Florence is going to reflexively sort of like fire at sort of like <laughs> the closest crossbows. Oh, fucker! <laughs> okay, so. Uh, Florence, that's Dex oh plus firearms. Firearms. I have nothing yeah. in firearms. Nothing at all. Uh, come on, baby. Oh my god. Um, I guess we'll I'll be. See. You know, it's fine. We made my friend stab him. This, <laughs> this is absolute bullshit. You hit one of the fucking guys. <laughs> What? <laughs> yeah. Florence, Florence. So they stand up. Florence is just like, "Ooh, <laughs> thunk." Okay. Um, and you notice as the bolt leaves the crossbow, there is a striking of sparks, and the end of it, which is clearly wrapped in cloth and doused in oil, <laughs> lights up <laughs> and fling like oh, goes God. across the thing and hits. Um... Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I just heard that's the giggle Florence makes as she oh um, the day has completely gone off the rails. Just oh like... bugger, <clears throat> hobo with a crossbow. Um... Yep. Coming to the learning network soon. Okay, yeah. John and Nate make me uh, Dex uh, Dex Athletics minus one because you are taken unawares. And minus one? Minus one. Oh, dear you. you don't you two don't actually know these people are there. Okay. So can I re-roll for like You get one dice roll. You would get you one do. dice roll for that. You can if you want though. Yeah. You're you a cricket. Sad. That's so cute. It's like a frog or a cricket. It's cute. Hmm. I don't know who it's coming from. It might be my computer. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought it was a cricket. It's cute. I was Your like, is someone that adorable. cricket? Cricket-powered computer. Uh, yeah. What's their shit? <coughs> oh my god, are you kidding me? Where is it? Okay, I don't care. Um, this is for my... It's uh, John and then Nate. Because we did in that order. So, Nate. How do you uh, take damage? Are you do you take damage like a mortal? And do you have uh, bestial temper? I don't think you do, do you? I don't think I do have bestial temper. But I don't think like I would take very much damage because like I would have been put through that torture stuff. So I think I would just like take it. No. It's not how it works. <laughs> no. It's not how it works. I'm sorry. Uh, you take three aggra no two aggravated damage as a flaming crossbow bolt uh pelts you in the side of your chest oh yeah that's okay yeah, it's fine yeah just uh, fine and, uh john you uh you, you got four so you dodge 
Where, where did it come from? Oh, it's, it came yeah. from your uh, right because you're standing on the right of Nate, and the one that hit uh, Nate came from the left. Am I able to act, or do I need to wait? Um, yeah, I think at this point everyone can say what they're doing. Okay, claws charging to my right. Okay, claws charging to your right. So, rouse? Grabbling. Oh, sorry. Are you doing your thing? My claws are a rouse, right? Mm, yes. Oh, fine. Rousing success. Yay! I want to knock this guy out, not kill him. Okay, sure. Um, that's probably strength rule. Okay. I get an advantage because I have him uh, apprehended. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's a good point. You probably have plus two on that, really. Okay. So roll an extra couple of dice. Shit. This guy... Um, he doesn't look much, to be honest. Doesn't... Looks a bit frail. Um, and... Uh, what's that? What would his roll be? It is this. Yeah, he goes down. I'm just gonna be like, I am so sorry, friend. And I just like slam him into like the banister that's probably right there to knock him out. Yeah. Um, you have drawn attention to yourself, however. That's fine. But, I mean, you got a crossbow. It's not. Well, I don't. <laughs> Florence does. Florence so, is currently looking around for more crossbow bolts. Yeah, uh, there are a couple stacked up there against the against the wooden paddle paneling. Oh well, that seemed to work. So <sighs> trying to cock the crossbow. I'm, I'm, I'm watching you do this, like. <laughs> yeah, make a strength athletics. Yeah, is it is it a windless crossbow or is it just a pull it back crossbow? It's a it's a it's. It's one of those ones where you have to get the other thing, put it on, and then crank it back. Right, okay, yeah, yeah. So, so it's it's not difficult. So strength athletics. But it might um, take you a, a while. Probably. Two. It's loaded. Okay. So we ignore the right. rest. Okay, um, so uh, yeah. And can I fire as well? You can fire as well. Okay, um... um how how's the guy looking who I already shot at? How is he looking? Um, because if he's disconcerted by being on fire at the moment, um, he looks grievous, not grievously wounded. He looks wounded. He'll like he could take another couple of bolts. Yeah, from there it's dodgy, but. <laughs> But if a dog fucks him up, then he's all over. <laughs> Sorry, there's food happening. The dog he's being the doorbell. Florence barks like a dog. Everyone <laughs> piss pisses themselves. Um, I was I gonna say? Yeah. So I'm probably gonna sort of like is is he still like aiming and firing at? Yeah, he's taking a bit of time to uh, put himself out, but he does then. You know. All right. I'm aim. gonna. I'm gonna shoot at him again and see what happens then. All right. This Dex, is so firearms. It's all about that Dex, because firearms ain't shit. Mm, no. It's just like, bang. Oh, no, that, that didn't go well. You right there? Marco. Um, you son of a bitch, Florence. No, <laughs> I'm joking. Oh, God. <laughs> um, Florence, that was a Bestial failure. How come you only had two for that? Um, oh, no, you had two dexterity. last time, didn't you? Yeah. I've Never got mind. two decks. That's my decks. The other oh. guy just rolled really badly, I think. Yeah, yeah. Well, he did, but I was. I thought you had more dice. Never mind. You get one point hungrier. Like, this place... Now that it's, like, John's wigged out, 
you're fairly certain whatever weirdness is going on in this place is coming from that priest. Right. Okay. Um. Yeah. I'm on four hunger now. That's uh. I'm peckish. <laughs> mm. Um. Marco, I think quickly make me a <coughs> willpower roll plus two. Yeah. Because a flaming bolt peered out of nowhere next to you as Florence fired it. Three. You're fine. It scares you a little. It scares your beast. Fire back. <laughs> Florence is like, oh, sorry! But you're okay. You keep uh, control. Cool. Um, yeah, Marco, let's go to you. I am going to leap over to the next person I can. Whoever's closest, crossbow-wise. Uh, it would probably be the person Florence has been firing at. Is he more concerned with putting himself out of off fire than... No, he's, he's okay. like, smoldering at this point. Hmm. Um, and, and he has a crossbow bolt in him, but he's <coughs> no, not on fire. Um, I'm gonna jump over to him. What is that? Athletics dex? Well, let's say that if your intention is to beat him down... I just want to get over there first. Getting over there won't be that much of a problem. So let's do the roll where you're there. Okay. Athletics. Or did it did it just no it didn't roll okay two successes and this guy is going to dodge well, I'm not, not trying to I'm not I'm not trying to hit him I was just trying to get over there no I, I said you wouldn't have to roll for that oh <laughs> my bad that well you just told me to you just told me I thought to roll athletics Thanks. sorry uh, okay you're over there so, okay. Um, I'm just going to go over there, and um, I don't want to get shot by Florence is the problem, because <laughs> I have a feeling that I have a feeling that she is going to continue to keep shooting. I'm so, not going to shoot. Like, I'm going to try and shoot away from my friend. I'm I don't gonna... trust you. I don't trust you one bit with a crossbow. Um, my, my intention is to probably next round jump to the next person. That's hasn't been attacked yet. Okay, yeah, John's on his way over there. Um, okay. Because I'm, uh, I'm truly scared that Florence is going to shoot me with a crossbow. So you're not hurting this guy. Nope. Wasn't there one more dude hidden somewhere? Uh, Florence and Marco know about him. Yeah. Okay. And, um... John, you ran over there and did the claws with this guy? I... I closed as I was like running at him, yeah. Okay. Uh yeah. Wait, did we do that roll? I'm confused now. No. no. <laughs> we did we did Florence and Marco. Uh, strength uh, Okay. And then How did you know that I was going to punch him? <laughs> <laughs> I have so many moves. Okay. <laughs> this guy seems a little more adept. But you still clip him, and you do some... Two extra damage, because claws as well. Oh, fuck. Okay, yeah, this guy is... You get out just a hole in him, so he's not looking great. He's not dead, though? Not yet. I, I didn't outright kill him. No. Okay, cool. Nate, what are you doing? The, um, the guy you stabbed is going, No, this isn't how it was supposed to go! I'm here like to help you. Um, so the arrow's still in my chest, though, right? Uh, yeah, it's just kind of hanging out there. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna like pull it out, look at it, toss it, and then just fucking leap at this guy with a knife. Okay. With the intention to just stab him. Good. That's. Dex melee. 
let's watch this fail. I mean, you're attacking a priest, man. <laughs> <laughs> wrong place, wrong time. <clears throat> Rerolls? Yes? No? Yeah. I mean, you if I can. You can reroll one if you spend a point of willpower. But I just press willpower roleplay and then just do one. Mm -hmm. You are so lucky. <laughs> he struggles. Like, this is not a pretty fight. You both are not the strongest. Uh, but. You stab him again. Yes. Um, I feel like attacking a priest is like full circle for me. So we're like, <laughs> I was literally going to help you. And then like, you're just like, first the gaze, that Christianity, that humanity. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, oh my God. Um, Hang on, just quickly. Okay, no. He's not dead. But he's about to be. You're just sure of this. Like, soaked with blood. Okay. I want to bite him, but I think I'll, I'll like... But, like, um, I'll put my hands, like, on his throat, maybe. And I'll just, like, be like... Where the fuck is she? Just, like, try my best to be, like, intimidating. He's, you still have yet to tell them who you're looking for, I'm pretty it's sure. Like, Renala. like, where is Renala? I think that's oh, all. I said it a few times. Don't be an ass. No, you say, but I, the, the few times you did say it earlier, you were like saying it like out of character. I'm pretty sure. No, no. Yeah. I mean, I think it was mostly that they got interrupted, oh, like really? other shit was going on. But at this point, make me a uh, manipulation persuasion. Persuasion. Okay. Two successes, um, and this guy is he looks at you uh, with fire in his eyes, coughs blood in your face, and as you see him fading and starting to black out from blood loss, he says, She will be cleansed. I didn't want this. Can I stab him again? But now... <laughs> Like before he finishes, just stab him again. Yeah. Just straight in the throat, like. Yeah, cl cleansing like vampires doesn't tend to go well. It usually involves fire. Okay. Um, Marco and John Nate make me uh, Dex athletics rolls. Yes. Nice. Oh, you did make it. Sorry, I, it, for some reason you mm -hmm. didn't make a sound. Okay. Um, um, oh, I should probably re uh, roll these on here. Sorry. Just so you can see them. So that's for Marco, and then this is for Nate. Okay. You both manage to avoid the singing bolts as they go past you on fire. Yeah. Um, Marco, you're probably going to have to make another fear of okay. fire test. So you have the choice to kind of submit to it and run away. But you get uh, to control. Or you can resist it with your willpower. Uh, wait. I did that wrong. 
It would be plus two, but you succeeded anyway. It wasn't very difficult. Uh -huh. It's not big okay. fire. Okay. Sweet. So, um... People... Hang on, let me check. People be dying. The priest is in a pool of his own blood under Nate. Um... One of the guys that is fighting John is in a bad way. The guy next to you, Marco, um, is seriously struggling with the bolt in the side of his uh, body. And at this point, a booming voice comes from the back of the uh, church. A, a voice that you recognize, John. It's like, if you're looking for Renala, maybe check in the graveyard. John, what are you doing here? Is it Gregor? It's Gregor. Uh... Can I try and kill the guy I'm fighting first before I reply? Yeah. Do the thing. I'd like, I'd like to try and rip his heart out. I don't know how practical that will actually be, but... Do the thing minus two. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's... He, he, he's definitely going to try and defend, just so you know. Uh... I will re-roll that as well. Four. Oh, I need to that off. Oh, no. Okay, so this guy is, like, defending by actually trying to murder you back. Okay. Three successes. It's not enough. He... You rip his heart. And then I, um... Throw it over my shoulder, turn around... Gregor, what the fuck are you doing? I'm fighting against the bastard that stole you away. You left me to die, you tit. Look, you were dead and Saffron disappeared. And we yeah, tracked Saffron you all to here. Yeah, saved my fucking life. How the fuck was I supposed to know that? Well, maybe if you didn't leave me to die, you would have fucking found out, mate. She stayed by me. You were weak, John. You lost. And you know what that means. Yeah, it means I'm going to come over there and rip your fucking heart out next. You're going to have to fucking try it. Look. Fuck it. I'm, I'm, I'm running at him. <laughs> Can I try firing at Gregor <laughs> as as John runs over? I'm just like, I don't like him very much. Boom. He is a dick. Uh, yeah. Florence, Dex, firearms. <laughs> Although, keep in mind, Florence, you are trying to kill one of my touchstones. <laughs> I'm not trying to kill him. I'm trying to distract him. Okay. With pain. <laughs> Okay. Eee. You're gonna get yourself killed, Florence, trying to fire this. <laughs> How hungry are you now? Um. Hunger five. Yeah. <laughs> you feel what? when you're for hunger five, the uh, fading of that particular weird feeling. It seems to have gone. But it, it had, a, like, a final hurrah. Tugging on your beast. Mm-hmm. Okay. John, you're just sprinting at him? Yeah. You're going to try and... kill him? No, I'm gonna try and knock him out. Like, I don't like the guy, but he did look after me, so he's kind of 
semi father figure, and he needs to answer some questions for Nate anyway. So I'm going to take the claws back, and I'm just going to smack him. Okay. Dex brawl versus uh, dex. his dex brawl. Dex he's a, brawl. He's a sorry strength brawl. Okay. He's a big fella. Yeah, he is. He's not quite as big as you. Fuck. Um. I don't great, know why yeah. I keep on doing this here. Sorry, gonna... I should roll it on the dice roller. Uh, so I'm willpowered that, so I've got four successes. And are you at willpower f f empty now? No, I've got one more. Oh, okay. Right, so... Um, Just burning through my willpower tonight. Yep. So let's say... Can I try and restrain him, actually, instead of like trying to do damage to him? No. Because he wins. He's such a dickhead. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that was six. Uh, six dice. Good. He stands there. He doesn't move. You charge at him. You actually clock him around the jaw, but it does nothing. And he just pushes you over and you take a superficial damage. You're weak, John! And unfortunately, I'm going to have to find myself some new hunters. Whatever it was that took you away, we've been winning, John. Found some people that actually care about changing things. What's your angle, Gregor? Why you want to do this shit? I'm cleaning out this city. When I found out what happened to you and to Saffron, curdled my blood. And there were how do you, how do you find out? Saffron came back. Fuck. She's uh. She's a good one. She's loyal. Loyal to her mates. I was glad to hear you weren't dead. Well, I hear it's not quite the same. Can't John, fear. what the fuck are you doing here? Well, I met one of your friends. I smashed his head in and he said you were over here. Not in that order, of course. Um, I come here to give you a piece of my mind because you left me fucking dead. Apparently, you've still been training because I still can't kick your fucking ass. Yeah. What do you do with his mate? Again! <laughs> Not now, Florence! I'm having a a tete a tete. -a -tete. Oh, good lad. What did I do with his mate? Where's his mate? She's strung up waiting for sunrise. Nate, your mate's out the back in the graveyard. Go get her. You try and stop her, stop him. I'll get in your way. Just walk off, mate. Look. I'm saying this like sitting on the floor still <laughs> after being pushed over. Nate, go. You're muted. Yeah, Nate just gets up, kicks the priest in the crotch, and just goes. <laughs> okay. He doesn't even turn around, even like look. He just goes straight. Knife in hand. Like. I may not have taken you this time, Gregor, but you see we got the upper hand still. We got crazy old lady with a crossbow up there. This big motherfucker over there. Hello! You got one, you got one left, mate. <coughs> you can't take us all. So you walk, and we'll call it a draw this time, yeah? Okay. I'll walk. He walks over. 
picks up the flaming crossbow bolt, looks you dead in the eyes, and starts to move around you. I walk. John, you don't have to be the problem for this city. The Fuck whole thing's corrupt. Just go. It's rotten, John. As we'll he... talk again another time, maybe. <laughs> but right now, you gotta fucking leave. He, like, eyes flitting between all of you. Oh, and if Saffron comes around again, you send her away, yeah? You got nothing more to do with her. You don't seem to be looking after her. I have been, mate. She's a good one. She's one of ours. Yeah, well, she's the only one who's stuck by me, so I'll be looking after her, mate. I know where Florence. you live. So if you hurt her, I'll hear about it. Right back at you, mate. He gives you all the evils and then turns around and and picks up the one guy that is uh, still not dead. Um, and, and, like, they limp out together. Uh, and... Yeah, Florence, Marco, John, you are left. With Florence already runs. puts the crossbow down and immediately misfires it into the floor. <laughs> <laughs> right. You've got to stamp out the flames now because it's on fire. Right, right. No, this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. I've got it. I've got it. This is fine. Okay. Um, uh, also, Florence is really damn hungry and there's an unconscious guy there. And Florence really doesn't like eating people. But also Florence is like, you know, beast is drooling. Okay, uh, so okay. would you uh, like to take the frenzy test or would you like to ride the wave? Um, well, I'd like to resist doing it, so. Okay, so that is your willpower plus two for frenzy, for okay. hunger friend. Uh, wait... No, there would be blood around, so you're at hunger five, which means you lose the animalism because you're at hunger five. Mm -hmm. But yeah, willpower plus two. See if you chow down. All right. Um, so, so I'm just literally rolling my willpower, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, right. Uh, so, there we go. Right. Sorry, new sheet. Confusing. Give me a second. I need to check something. <coughs> hmm. Okay. You're fine. She's just there, like, just staring at him, like... Um, I really need a cup of tea. I'm gonna walk up. Are you gonna eat that? <laughs> I'm gonna leap up there and stop y'all from doing that. I knocked him out for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> I, am, I ain't gonna kill him, mate. You know, calm down. Like, I was just wondering, because she's looking like she's about to lose her shit. No, I'm mm. fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. Everything's lovely. Uh, Marco, yeah. she needs to eat. Everything. Oh, can I... Ev everything. Everything. You can you can feast off oh. of him, but um, I have an idea. Oh, this is lovely. This... Isn't it? Oh lord. Oh. Marco. Hello, Charles. How are you? She's got. Oh, it's yeah. So nice to see Marco, you. she's got to eat me. Oh. I'm gonna grab her face and dig it into the guy's neck. Like, come on, you know you want to. Just a little oh, nib. Please, please, sir. No, I'm, I'm, no, stop. Oh, what are you doing? What are I, you can doing? I, can I grab one of her rats for her? Out of her, out of her uh, robes? Does she have you a You wanna spell? reach in there? I will do it. <laughs> uh, there's I'm one thing I hate no worse one. than Florence oh. smelling really bad and being annoying. It's Florence not knowing what the hell's going on and being really annoying and smelly. <laughs> so, I'm gonna make, how about, how, about, how about this, mate? Just make a little cut. As soon as she smells that blood, she'll start. Uh, no, I'm... 
please. I am scared that she's going to kill this man. I, I, don't I want to have fun with this one. You say that he is Hunter, right? Vicar, please. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know what you want me to do, so... but I feel this is very inappropriate, sir. Florence, so basically, you don't have uh, bestial temper, do you? Uh, nope. Okay, so I shouldn't have made you do a frenzy roll. Shouldn't you? Oh, okay. So basically, what I want this guy to, what I want to do with this guy, is I. <laughs> it's terrible for me to do, but I kind of want to fuck with him a little bit. Where we tie him up, we take him somewhere, and we tell him that he got turned into a vampire but he didn't actually get turned into a vampire. <gasps> and I want... Fuck. And I want to see if he'll spill the beans about his previous life if we tell him that he's a vampire. <laughs> That's that awful. Vampire. I like it. Oh, my God. Okay. Like, leave a bite mark on his neck, really play into, like, what he thinks, like, <laughs> vampires are. Okay, okay. Um, <laughs> we'll do well, that later I think yeah, yeah. maybe save it for next week I don't know how much time we'll have but Definitely. Nate you sprint you go out the opposite huge door into uh, a very nicely kept graveyard trees, fence gravestones and at the end strapped to a crucifix um, facing the opposite direction. You can tell it's Ranella. Okay. There's, there's no one else around, right? Wits awareness. <laughs> <laughs> there's no one around. Okay. Yeah, I think I'll sprint towards her. Just straight up, like, try and, like, See, but not like not even take her down, just like see if she's awake. And I'll just like once I get close to her, I'll shake her. Okay. Um and like strapped up against on this thing. She rouses just a little bit. She's like Nate. I must be dead then. Not yet. Got her just in time. Listen, I need to ask you a really serious question. I'm going to dominate her. Remember, questions don't work. Yeah. Uh, like, um... But we're back, everyone. We are back. I reckon it was the ingest. Welcome, everybody, to the Vampire uh, uh, the Masquerade. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Imagine how I talk like that, though. Stop, your priest. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Marco Kravitz. <laughs> I'm Florence, and I like to set fire to people. <laughs> Try to parade you to a non existent channel? That's weird. Okay, uh, Jazz, for hanging with us, everyone. Let's get back to the scene we were doing. Um, and Nate had just found Renala strapped to a crucifix hanging out in the graveyard like uh, you some do. goth chick. Yes. Um, and so, like, she's I'm like, reaching up and like, shaking your I'm like, do you know why you're here? They, they think I'm something horrible, Nate. I'm not something horrible, am I? Do you know what a kindred is? No. What? Okay, okay. Shh. Brothers. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be here. I'm gonna get Bro you out of here. A brother? I'm gonna get you. Yes, I'm gonna oh, get you out of here. Thank Can I bite you. my wrist and give her my blood? Uh, yes, you can. I'm assuming okay. you cut her down. No, you don't cut her down. No, I want her to feed before I cut her down. I'm gonna tell her that I'm special, and that my blood will help her. And she's like delusional enough that I'm hoping that she won't remember it. But at least she'll be able to, like, hopefully I'll be able to control her like Florence did to John and keep her safe. Okay. Um, it's, I mean, she's on a crucifix. It's not going to be easy. Okay, if I, if I cut her down, if she's so, if, like, okay, the only way I'd cut her down is if she was very, very weak and I knew that she'd 
basically be on the ground. Yeah, that, that, that seems likely to you. Okay, yeah, th yeah. Then I'll, I'll cut her in with my knife. Okay, and then you feed her. Yeah, I think I'd be like, Shh, it's okay, and I just like wipe her like hair from her forehead and just like listen, just drink this. Okay. Uh, you press your wrist to her lips, um, and she drinks. She doesn't seem with it, and then a few seconds pass, and she kind of perks up and seems confused. She's like, "Nay," and she just she just launches herself at you and just hugs you. Yeah, I think they will like laugh and just be happy that she's back and she's like awake. Um, we gotta, we gotta go. We gotta go. There's people here. And we gotta go. We can't do this, but we gotta go. Nate. Yes. You see a change in her when you feed her. Um, and you're not sure what it is, but you're very aware that your vampiric condition tends to corrupt things. So I'm going to give you a stain for feeding your touchstone blood. Okay. I think it was worth a stain. Yeah, no, it was worth a stain. But yeah, it's a she, corrupt motherfucker. Like he's going to try perks, it anyway. She perks up, um, and and you pick her up, and she's like, "I thought you were dead." She starts to, like, you drag her along, but. She's clearly still confused, and she can walk beside you. Okay. Yeah, I think I'll lead her back towards the the church. Okay. Um, Marco, John, and Florence. You're up in the. Uh, organ area in the church. I probably would have come back down and started walking out as Nate comes in. Uh, yeah, I was going to go see how he was doing, but uh... okay. Um, Lawrence is trying to waltz with Marco. Marco, if you wanted to, you probably could have rooted around in her uh, in her robes, found a rat, and tried to feed it to her. I'm like face rat. The rat, Florence doesn't have fangs. So I know. So I'm just like, <laughs> eat it. Eat I'm the rat. I'm scratched by an angry rat. Like, oh, Vicka, no. No, Daddy, no. Why? Stop oh, it. No. 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 Oh, God. Smoosh. Do you not want a rat? And I'm holding a bite ah! still. Stop. Stop. No. Stop. I don't, I don't like it. I don't want to do. No. No. All right. No. I hold it over the ba banister. You eat rat or I drop rat. What rat? The, 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 no, it's my hamster, Mister, 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 Mister Fluffy. Please give you, give him to me. You I, can I, tell I... that she doesn't have fangs, even though she looks extremely hungry. You might have to cut it open for her. <sighs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> I like bite it. <laughs> You bit Mr. Fluffy. Why did you? Why did you? Eat the rat. Why did you? Smash it into her face. <laughs> Eat the rat. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. What the fuck is wrong with you? you what the fuck? A rat ear like. Oh. Oh. is just like. <laughs> You're like, at 400 now? Yeah. Um, and you all notice Nate dragging a, a girl through the church. I'm so happy that she didn't have to see that. <laughs> the basement is going to get so fucking full at this point. If we house any more vampires. I don't intend to uh, go back to the cottage tonight. Yeah, no, I think we should move, to be honest, because Gregor knows where we are. I think... There's other people who know where, like, we, we just... Um... How's your, I... how's your mate, Nate? Did you feed her? No, she's not, um, one of us. Yes. Do you want me to give her some of my blood? 
<laughs> no, she's she's good. We just need to get her somewhere safe. And I think like, away from the cottage is the best option. Yeah. For sure, I have plan. Always have plan. Marco is has plan. My plan isn't very good though. Um, I pick up the unconscious guy, put him over my shoulder, and I'm like, let us find the abandoned factory to stay the night. What, uh, what, what just happened? I, I don't, I think I, I must have. I pick up, I pick up a piece of like the little rat ear. You eat Mr. Fluffy. Oh, you also eat some of the, the man that Marco has. What? You're hungry. We had to. We turned you into a human. You are now an old bitter bitch now. Nothing changes. How dare you? Dare you? See? Ah. You are much better now. Yeah. <laughs> One. Florence, you get back your animalism point. Or Woo. I suppose you could have protein if you want, because they're both anim animal. No, no, animalism. Do I lose a point of hunger as well? Yeah, you're on four hunger. Yay. Alright. Cool. Um, so yeah, Florence is just a little bit dazed because, you know, she just has a psychotic break. And they got force fed a rat. Should we go then? Because, you know, um, yes. there's a heart lying over there. And oh. a couple of dead people, like, just about. Oh, did, did you see, though? <laughs> I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm a crack shot with a crossbow. You know what? I might take this with me, actually. Uh, Florence is going to pick up the crossbow and, and the bolts and just be like, eh, just, uh, why not? No. Yeah. Did anyone else <laughs> the, the priest got stabbed multiple times? Oh. oh. Also, he, he, made, he made me, like, scared of him somehow which i thought wasn't a thing so apparently interesting have yeah tried having a stiff upper lip sir that is very interesting i take um one of the crossbow bolts if they're on fire or something and i intend to burn this church down as we're leaving it i wouldn't do that oh dear, when, no. why not why not? The architecture. Come on, let's go. Let's just yeah, leave no, without like, making any more fire. Why do you not want to burn the dead bodies? Marco, I don't do well with fire and... Oh, actually, that's... It's, a... just, it's dangerous, mate. Like, it'll just... On the other hand, um, we probably should hide the evidence. I think we should burn the place down. I don't like the idea, but we... Um... It is either that or we hide the dead bodies. The blood would still be there. Yes. Nate, what Why do we need to hide the bodies? Remember. Because we are already being chased. Yeah, exactly. Who else can come after us at this point? I think we should, um, well, we should have well, burn the bodies. Let's take them out the back and burn them. Like, we didn't bite any of these people, right? So it's not going to point to, to Vam. Okay, okay, okay. Pull his we'll heart do... out. It is either that we take care of this. Our hearts, Florence. It is either we take care of this now or we leave right now. We Let's leave go. Right now. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, Flores is just like, well, I'm going. Can I take the heart right. with me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's disgusting. Yeah. I take the heart with me. I fully intend to try and find a abandoned factory or an abandoned building in the shitty part of town. Could we go to Angelica? No. Like, you got an in with her, right? Nate, Nate is That's not going to want us to go to Angelica. I think we should go to Angelica because she knows... She knows if we like, go to Angelica, we, there is absolutely we do not have enough time for us to go to Angelica because that would be a whole conversation. We can for next time. We'll yeah, you can somewhere next time. to hide out. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. We we need somewhere to hide out, and we don't know anyone else. Angelica, I think they be like, yeah, we need to go see her. All right, I'd agree to it then. If I think you're not going to freak out, no, I want answers. You you just don't want to go and see her again, do you? Because, you know. Oh, I'm not too scared. I, I Now that I have fortitude, I'm a little bit... I'm a little bit scared of Marco, because she's crazy. Yes. <laughs> That's my only answer. Yes. I, I'm, I'm glad you realized that. Good. All right. What about Granny? Is she... Is she with the... She with will the... have fun in the club. They will love her. They will flock I to her. I'm, I'm, I'm talking... Is she still insane? What? Oh, no, I'm she's fine. How, how, I'm not insane. How dare you? 
Her aesthetic very much is goth, so she will fit in very nicely. Her aesthetic is part of garbage, but close enough. That as well. I, I, I'm right here, you know. I can hear every bloody word you're saying. Are you saying that goth is garbage? I don't know what goth is. Well, you are that. You'll see. <laughs> and we, we are, we're going to uh, to see Angelica, I guess. Okay, so everyone <laughs> is off to see Angelica. Do you burn this place down? Nah. No. Okay. They convinced me not to. Marvelous. <laughs> so I think that's oh, that you say that. That's probably uh, a good place to call it. So, thank you everyone for watching, and we will catch you same time, same bat time, same bat channel next week. Please follow if you haven't already, so you can get notifications. I'm back, Granny. Um, <laughs> but before we do go, I need remorse rolls. So if oh, you yeah. scroll down to the bottom of your page, Nate Marvelous? needs to do one. Oh. That's fine. John needs to do one. Yeah. Just the one? Just one. Yeah, yeah. Do, uh, do, uh, do I, did I only get the one stain today? I forget. I think I got, yes. I got one stain for the head smash. Yeah. I did also rip a dude's heart out of a chest. Yeah, it was in combat. Yeah, it was, you know. Yeah, I, I, I still feel like I'm not really remorseful about about killing these guys so far. Um keep me coming like Nate. Did you get did you get a uh a stain for stabbing the priest? Yeah, oh yeah. Okay, good. Oh yeah. <laughs> I, I I feel I feel like with everything today I mean, you can have another stain if you want it. If you feel like ripping someone's heart out of the chest deserves well, it, I'm I'm cool with that. It, yes, it's not just that. It's going after one of my touchstones as well, and like the the entire. But you, but you didn't hurt. You were yeah, you didn't him, kill him. But, but I had hurt. yeah, but added on to that, like the intention of hurting him, and you know. I would say not for the touchstone, but definitely for the heart. Okay. So um, so Nate's fine. You feel. A little bit better. <laughs> John, you, you feel pretty... Like, in retrospect, smashing a man's head open like a watermelon wasn't the best way of going about it. It was pretty <laughs> fucked up. I actually didn't need to kill him. Uh, or tearing a man's heart out. That was cool. But gross. I've still got the heart. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's cool. I've given it a name. <laughs> um, and no one else has stains, so yeah. We go and raid someone now. And we get experience. Oh, yes, yes. Give us yes. Experience. That's something I wanted to do. Well done, Phil. That's something I wanted to do. Nate. Yeah? Please remove your floor stalker. <coughs> you have dead. essentially mitigated the results <laughs> yeah, I of did, yeah. all that bullshit with Eric. Okay. And Renal is only a little bit worse for wear. Yeah. So is she know, actually a vampire or not? Is she just She doesn't appear to be kindred, no. Oh, uh could I ask as well, like uh, I'm guessing we'll have to wait till we get back to the cottage. Like uh Florence's rat isn't gonna come back messenger rat isn't gonna come back and find her wherever she is. Like it'll come back to the cottage. Um, she just comes back to the cottage, oh. sees no tea and leaves. <laughs> like, yeah. so I'll come back later. Yeah, it's it's probably going to most easily find you at the cottage, but Florence, your rats are smart. They can probably find you if you're not at the cottage after a few days. No, maybe, it's, it's gonna be a little while. It's gonna be a little while. I've got a very distinctive scent. <laughs> yes. That way. <laughs> um yeah, so Nate removes his stalker floor because he murdered him brutally. Yes. And all of you get four XP. Yay! Four. Finishing, or well, mostly finishing. There's a few fallout. So bits we're on to this. 36 now, yeah? 36. Max total. total. Total, yeah. Over uh, this entire campaign, you have been given 36. Yes, and I have 12 available. Hi, guys. Bye. Bye.